my husband's journal and in it he says he hates me and hopes i die this is okop home of the craziest true stories on earth i'm john this is sam and sophia welcome to another episode shall we dive in let's dive yes. in Go. let's do it welcome to the stream so this comes from throwaway 61011 who says my husband has kept a semi-regular journal throughout our four-year relationship he does not keep it hidden, and up until now, I have always respected his privacy. We had a heated conversation, and my gut told me that he read it, so after he left for work, I did. He wrote several times that he hates me, and at one point he said when I was sick, he hoped I would die. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Wow. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Yeah, uh, we're yeah. starting off strong. We're starting off dark. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, I'm a little mind blown, everyone. But uh, say hi in the chat. My goodness. Yeah. And yes, Cassandra Lay, we are on time. We're, on time. we're right on time. Yeah. It's all because of Riley Show. Riley yourself. screamed yeah. at Riley me a little yeah, aggressively. I, I I'm Round sorry, of applause. Sam. Put some W's in the chat for Riley. He made it happen. I'm ladies sorry, and Sam. Hey, Oki. <sighs> thanks for the donation. Only one minute late. <laughs> we were here. I promise we were here. Riley did it. This is all Riley. Yeah. It was Sam's w. fault. He ran away. Yes. <laughs> Bro, there's a freaking <laughs> alarm going off right now. Wait, is it still going off? No, no, no. It's gone. Do you hear it? No, it's, it's on. Oh, All right, let's get talk, back to the story. If we talk, we can't hear it. You so can't we, hear we it. We have the story. We have the story. So back to this madness. Yeah. Uh, when I read those words, I packed up and me and our baby went to our fiance. They have a baby? Went to our friends where I'm staying now. Yes. Damn. They have a baby. They packed up. They're at the friend's place. And he's like, oh I hope God. the baby dies, too. <laughs> Jesus. I read fiance. I was like, wait, does she have a second fiance? I was like, oh, I just read that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if I spooked any of you. I spooked myself. Um, <laughs> I told him I just need some space to cool off after our conversation, and I will be home soon. I booked with my therapist and contacted a lawyer. I mean, at that point, like, do you contact – guys, actually, question in the chat, honestly. Do you, like – contact the authorities like do you call the police uh is that that you're, no because it could just be like i just hope could. you die yeah it's like oh, i hope you die i don't know like maybe there's we always have experts in the chat and so uh illuminate yeah. me i wonder what are the signs of like someone who is like a i don't know like a psychotic you know what i'm trying to say i don't want to get our yeah. life taken down but yeah that person i think they would have to go more into detail yeah, yeah. like they have to say like how they're gonna yeah. do it and <laughs> also for quick kim quant for for everyone tuning into the stream right now yeah. basically op found journals of their husband yep and the husband said i hope my wife dies like yeah. she was sick and they have and a baby like, together and yeah. they have a baby yeah so now she's gone at the friend's place mm -hmm. and we have yet to see what's gonna happen yeah. <sighs> um so we had a rough pass. We had a rough patch recently that lasted about two weeks. You don't say. Um, <laughs> oh man, how rough uh, was that patch that you're writing in your journal? I hope she dies. <laughs> God, pretty rough. Um, nice. There was there was no violence. There was no moments where I was afraid of him. Just sincere conversations about difficult feelings. The notes of hatred correspond with that rough patch. The rest of the journal is tame and reflects the man that I know and love. Mostly little self pep talks around work and family stuff, goals, travel hacking, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, this so this is the husband from Marriage Story. This is Adam Driver. Oh yeah, he said, "I, I, I wake up and I wish you were dead." Yeah, that wow. was pretty. That was a pretty good Adam Driver. <laughs> nice. yeah. That's a movie, isn't it? <laughs> John doesn't yes. watch movies. Yes. I watched a movie last night, which will okay story time. Oh yeah, Riley's yeah. pissed I'm about so us. Pissed yeah, he's okay, pissed. story time. Riley's pissed, so watch him spank. Yeah, yeah. This is okay real OKOP drama that you've been True. dying <laughs> for. Spanky. There's a Leading. rift in the OKOP Sorry. team. Oh, what did oh. Sam do? <laughs> what, did, what did Sam and John divorce, do? Divorce, divorce, divorce. Yeah, it's about to Between be that. Sam and John? Yeah, exactly. You'll ha you have to wait. You have to wait. Story wait, time, there's right? more. You have to stay, okay? <laughs> but back to the story. He sent me several warm messages since I left. He says he's glad that I'm taking space for myself, that he looks forward to reconnecting when I come home, and it's okay to have little hiccups, mm. and that he loves me, etc. A hiccup. Yeah, a little hiccup. So he's under the impression that she has not read his journals. Yeah. No. Presumably. I'm not. I mean, she left. I'm not 100% sure. It's a little unclear, yeah, honestly. Yeah, because I think they had a fight. They had a fight, and maybe it's like, I'm, I'm leaving because of that. And, and also, was, Riley, I think we got a donation for the, the uh, oh, sweet. coming in. Oh. 14 bucks, but 
Keep going. We can keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, did we, did we, we already read it. it. We already read it. We already read it. Yeah, yeah. Asky, thanks for the donation. Shoot, Appreciate shoot. it. Um, so, I was sure our relationship was over the moment that I read he hates me, or even the moment where I felt I uh, where I felt the need to violate his privacy. But the warm messages and the rest of the journal have me wavering a little bit. Divorce or not? Nah. Comments, divorce or not? Nah. I mean, if he wants, uh, if he's saying he wants to literally like. Uh, like like he wants you dead i feel like that's probably not a that's pretty a pretty terrible unlike witty carrot donating five bucks and yeah witty carrot thank you let's go shout out to your promotion as well yeah. <sighs> yeah. do we promote the husband to ex-husband that's the question i think, I think we honestly, should yeah I, well, I think his is definitely a worse offense but i also think it as op said like reading the journal was already not a good sign. Yeah, yeah the trust was already more, broken. Yeah, the trust was broken. The trust and then it broken. proved that there was under more worse things. Yeah, yeah. Kimberly, Marika, and uh, Bad Gal all saying divorce. Yeah. Juan saying yeah. divorce. Yeah. Also, Riley, I think if you filter, you can see the, all the other donations in there. But yeah. Wait, did you guys finally catch a live? Nikki, we did catch a live. We did. We did it. Your we did it for y'all. So... OP says, I understand the need to blow off steam when things are tense and journaling is a healthy way to do that, but never even in our darkest moments have I fantasized about him passing away. Yeah. Splitting up maybe, but this but this feels so sinister. Yeah, I don't think I've ever wished that someone would die. No! No! <laughs> I don't know. It's not normal. Even a character in like a show? Um No real people. No, no real, real people. people. Yeah. Okay, no I real people. Die, though. That's yeah. Fine. Yeah. yeah. That's, but most <laughs> yeah. Of, you know, those are like evil people. <laughs> um, oh, the kid from um, Haunting of Bly Manor. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a movie? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a, a show. show. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, Opie says, I don't know how I could ever feel safe around him again. I, I get that. Yeah. Um, Is this just healthy venting or am I overreacting no. here? Has anyone else had similar thoughts uh, about a spouse that they got over? Or is this a man I need to protect myself and my baby from? Yeah. And Pamela Rojas, uh, we are about to do a TLDR. So it's basically uh, this uh, OP finds the journals of her husband yep. in the journals. The husband says, I hope I wish he was dead. Yeah. Yeah. I wish he was dead. So is that a divorceable is offense? It divorceable? I think so. Now she's gone with the baby, staying with a family yeah. friend. Just trying to like sort through everything. I think especially having a baby in the relationship, I think that would really worry me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You want yeah. the mother of your child to die. Yeah. Also, you know who I don't want to die? Who? Ireland Mahoney. Thanks oh. for the 10 bucks. This man is crazy for real. That's so right. Yeah. Uh, 100% crazy. But like, I don't know. Like maybe his journal got stolen or something. You should just you should <laughs> confront him. Maybe maybe someone signed in on his account. Yeah, hey, babe. People keep stealing <laughs> you know, my, my journal, and writing these crazy things in it. Like I don't know what's I've going on. I've been hacked. Hacked. Yeah. I've been hacked. They hacked my paper, babe. Like they knew all the codes. No. Someone took my little key that I used to lock my journal. There we go. And now copied my handwriting perfectly. <laughs> dude. Wow. It's a tough world out here for OP husbands. Yeah, yeah. dude. Oh. People hacking journals. Left and right. <laughs> Edit to add some context. The rough patch was about his feelings for another woman. Ah! Oh. Yeah, that's my guy <laughs> keeps getting. Uh, but it was his private journal. <laughs> God. I think even without the journal, now that we know that. Yeah. Come well, on. no, he's definitely a piece of poop. Well, yeah. here, here we uh, go. Opie says he didn't cheat, but his friendship with her makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so he's not a cheater, but he's emotionally cheating. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. he has emotionally cheated. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Um, he says he thinks about me. He says he thinks about me passing away and being replaced by the oh, new wait, wait, woman. Wait. I'm so sorry. Um, the part of the journal where he says he hates me was written as a love letter to her. <gasps> he says. Uh. He says he thinks about me passing away and being replaced. Is that ah! romantic? Is that romantic? It's like, babe, I love you so much that I wish my wife was dead and burned in hell. He's like, it'd be so much easier. I wouldn't have to divorce her. She would just die. Yeah, yeah. It'd make my job easier. I don't have the balls to actually divorce, so uh... I'm just going to hope you die. And Alyssa Cinebalia, thank you for the donation. Ooh. Baldi, Cinebaldi. Thank love you. you. We love you. Yeah, wow. where's that little heart? Bam. I'm... I'm just perplexed. All right. And for everyone coming in, they have a, a TLDR as well. Husband and I are in a 
in a rough patch, he wrote in his journal, and he hates me in hopes that I die, wondering if this could be just healthy venting or if not, what steps should I take to protect healthy me and my baby? Healthy venting. Mm. Not healthy venting. <sighs> healthy I venting. I think there is healthy venting in the journal form. I do my three pages every day. Mm. Which is a writing practice, but oh, this yeah. is not the Okay. Way Wait, so we're doing a little breakdown before we go into the update, right? Yeah. Uh, relevant comments, yes. Okay. But Rachel comments, Curtis, thanks for the down. five bucks. I love your videos. Just wondering what are each of your favorite animals? We'll let you know soon. That's right. Um, well, Narwhal, off top. But, uh, <laughs> in, all right. So in Marriage Story, which is a movie with Adam Driver, yeah. they're like, and Scarlet they're, Joe. At, Scarlet Joe. They're like Scarlet at Joe each Hanson. other's throats. Yeah. Because they're going through this super messy divorce, right? Yeah. And Adam Driver says, I wish you were dead. Sometimes I Every wish you were day dead. Every day I wake up and, and I, I wish, wish you were, were dead. dead. Yeah. Is that healthy venting? No. I mean, they did get a divorce. So, like, I think it is but divorce worthy. Even in the process of getting that divorce, that is a wild thing. Why would say. you ever say that to anyone ever? You the could because he's frustrated. Child. He's that's frustrated. The, but that's like the you, difference. But, all right, in, 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 all right, in marriage story, do you not like empathize with no. Adam Driver at all? With, no, but I do, but not in the same way that I empathize with Scar, Scar Joe. Well, uh, yeah, but I, I, th I think what they do in the movie is they're like, look at these two frustrated people, like kind of just like at each other's throats. It, at a certain point, does it get? But she's never at her, at his throat in the same way. I think she. What did she say beforehand? She, never, I don't know. she didn't say, "I wish you were were dead." Yeah. That's such a different level. They, yeah. they were trying to like build. It's they were like, trying who's to build the person empathy you can for. empathize with, yeah. and they try to show. Yeah. And, and I don't. All right. So, this, so we were saying like, oh, like psychotic or whatever. I I think divorce worthy for sure. But I don't think it's necessarily an indicator of like that guy being psychotic. I don't it's think more, so. It's but more. I think it's the, still a red. It's but. the level of frustration. And th they got divorced in the movie, and it was good. And also, yeah. Amanda Avandra, thanks for the twenty bucks. First That's time also catching good. the live. That's also good. <laughs> Yeehaw. Um, also, anyone who's seen Marriage Story, like, let us know in the chat, like, what you think of how Adam Driver handled that situation. Yeah. And if you could tell me what a movie is, I would <laughs> yeah. really, really appreciate that. That would be really Wait, helpful context. You, Psychotic you know or not? What let a, us know. You know what a movie is. Oh, uh, it's the okay, okay story time. Yeah, it's coming okay, up, story guys. Time. Yeah, yeah. The it's drama. Real beef. Real, beef. real, real Riley people. Is, is angry, and he has he has right. He has something to say. He's going to get something, something off his chest. And we're going to yeah. hear him. Yeah. Except not right now because yeah. I have relevant comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Jealous Ad 5146 says, I'm married 17 years and I've never wished my spouse would die. Like, what? Keep it a stack. Um, does he know? Uh, does he know you've seen this? He just left it out like he, he just left it out like he wanted you to see it. Oh, that's an interesting. Oh. That's a good conspiracy oh. theory. Wait, yeah, where's our tinfoil? Right, right over there. We're I gonna, got you. Uh, yeah. Run. Producer Riley's grabbing him, but yeah, let's. Should we? Uh, does he that? want her to know? Yeah. I think. Did I he think, leave it out on purpose? Uh, I think. Thank you. I'm gonna say yeah. I think he did leave it out on purpose. I could see that. I think he's trying to like do. I think like, that's he, even I think, more worrisome than. Well, it it just shows that he has no yeah. courage. Yeah. It takes courage to exit a relationship, and he just has, he has none. Yeah, oh. this is <laughs> to leave to leave a thing that in the journal says you want to die to pass that message along. Yeah, yeah. that is nuts. that's even worse. It's like breaking up over text, but like saying oh. I hate you and I want you to die over journal is like even worse. <laughs> What yeah. middle school behavior is this? Yeah. yeah. Also, Lost Galaxy. Thanks for the five bucks. Yes. Glad you caught the live stream. So did we. And here we are. Well, okay. Conspiracy theory. That was an interesting one from the comment there. Um, so Opie does respond. He doesn't know I've seen it. He always left it out. So he hasn't okay. seen it. We've confirmed okay. that question from earlier. Um, Car Color uh, Carler Way says it is over. He wrote a love letter in his journal to another woman. You know yeah. it's more yeah. than a friendship no matter what he says to your face. Good point. Stay strong. Contact an attorney. Go to your home while he's at work and gather most of your belongings. I am sorry. Do not believe his words now. He is seeing a strong woman stand up for him, stand up for herself, and reality is really yeah. hitting him in the face. Yeah, relationship for sure over. Has to be. Do you guys think he's psychotic or not? I want to. I think your... he is. I don't. Know. I don't think he is. I ain't no expert. I want. I want. I don't think he's comments, psychotic. But... Do you think he's psychotic? I don't think he's psychotic, but he needs to go to therapy. He needs to go to yeah. therapy, resolve these issues, and yeah. get, like they need to be out of the marriage. If you yeah. wish your partner is dead. 
That's not Please. normal. I would say he's clinically bananas. Clinically bananas? He's clinically bananas. Uh, Meerkat says yes. Katarina says yes. Ireland Mahoney says yes. Ireland Mahoney also thanks for the five bucks. Thank you, guys. You make Woo! my day a lot Woo! better. We appreciate you. Of course. You make our day better. Um, so yeah. I, I, he is. He has a problem. He, uh, JC says he has a problem that needs work on. Uh, Tracy Isis says, having been married 25 years and we have gone through rough times, but mm. never have I yeah. hated him or wished death on him. Therapy. Yeah. Kayla V27 says, not psychotic, but has issues. Yeah. I, I think I agree. That feels tr true to me most. Yeah. Jeb says a lot of murderers do this. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. We're getting like, into true crime. Is this, is this literally yeah. like the beginning of a true crime like thing? It That's could my question. be. It could it be. Could be right? Also, would you guys want us to read true crime? Let us know. <laughs> we tried reading it and we could not release it because it we was were so bad. It was we were laughing. And, uh, they were like, "Can we? I release this?" I was like, "No, we're yeah. not built. For no. it. We're not built we're for not it. Built we're for just it. like we're nervous laughers." Yeah, you know, you know when you hear like, "Oh, like you know, actually, I'm not going to incriminate ourselves them. anymore." <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to tell you guys anymore. <laughs> but the it was our episode. funniest episode ever. So it was <laughs> very funny. It was funny just with how uncomfortable. Oh it yeah. Was. yeah, it was bad. Yeah, it was but. Bad. Well, let's see if this gets worse. Yeah. So real quick, closing out the relevant comments, email those pictures to at least one person you trust before he finds out that you've seen them. Oh, Interesting. like, like prove <laughs> there's like a, this is oh. true crime. This essentially to cooperate. Yeah. Oh, take happening. pictures of the, yeah. of the journal. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like it's like when you like. So it's not he said she said. Are getting yeah. in a car or something like hey about to go on a date like this is who the guys like that guy looks like this is his name in case it disappear. Except yeah. here's his journal of him yeah. wishing I was journal. six feet under, which apparently is a thing like women often do when they go on dates where they what? send their friends location. Oh, and, yeah, I'm yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. I mean That's my friends have my location all the time. Do I have your location? Yeah. We we had a whole thing. Remember we were like I said please give me all of your locations and we did it. We yeah. Did. Yeah. Are we all? Am I? Do I have yours? I, th I have Riley's. I have Sophia's. I don't know how. I don't think I have yours. I don't know, dude. Right. Are we there? Are we there? Uh, I, are we there? <laughs> After three years are we of working beeping? like I eighty hours a week that, together, I didn't even think about like sharing locations as like a you know a big step. I was just like, I just want to know where everyone is. Also, no, it's good. Uh, it's good. That's a red flag. What's a red flag? I don't know. Sophia wanted like to know where thing. every <laughs> Sophia stalker. Guys, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to be doing the live stream right now. Oh, okay? I'm not there. I see you're at home right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, TLDR, cute kitty 472, basically yes. OP found their husband's journals. The husband uh, in the journal said, I wish you were dead. So now we're getting to the update. Yeah. Are we ready? Are, I'm, I don't know, man. Guys. Are we ready? I don't think so, but I, I'm, I'd like to be. I don't care. Yeah. We're reading. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't even care. Blast through my brain. Update. I'm hoping I'm doing this right. Thanks so much for the kind words of advice and encouragement. Some of it was tough to read, but still deeply appreciated. Want to do an update because a lot of people were concerned for my safety. I took a commenter's advice and sent the pictures to a trusted friend. So okay. that's mm. that was a genius idea. Yeah, yeah. safety right, thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. She pointed out uh, that a passage I initially read as every day I think about telling her actually very clearly says death, killing her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was like, how can I say that? That's, that's, yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Like, like, unaliving? Is that the truth? Unaliving. unaliving. Yeah, Thank unaliving. God, I, sh I should be on my game. In Avatar, gentlemen. they say, we, we will be permanently ended or like Ooh. stuff like that. Yeah. Or your yeah. destiny ends here. All Which these is options. so much. It goes so hard. It goes so hard. And then at just the end, kill. he's like, I don't think I can. Do Take a then, life. Yeah. And then he just. Well, no, he, yeah. says, he says the word. Oh, a kiss, kill. Thanks for spoiling it. Yeah, dude. Not like I watched the thing, but. I guess my brain couldn't comprehend that at first. I received a ton of helpful perspective and support, but that comment in particular might have saved my life. Wow. Yeah. No I, way. I mean, yeah, because he said every day I think about unaliving her. Oh, he, not every day not, I want to be out of the relationship. Not and not every day that I wish she was dead. Which would also be bad. Which is also this bad. This is more but I this is think like, about doing you it. You know, I want to take destiny into my own hands. Yes. You know, uh, I'm not gonna let the yeah, universe decide okay. when she dies. He's progressed I'm gonna do it. into the um All right, the I think head. yeah, I think I'm going into psychotic territory. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, that's yeah. that's that's a little bit more I am sorry that I was ever I mean I was never on her side, but I I didn't realize how they doubted it was. the boy. Yeah, yeah. But he was correct. <laughs> Yikes. Um, run. That's terrifying. Yes. Yeah. After I digested that, I called the crisis hotline yeah. and they were quite helpful in talking me through the shock. 
They also put me in touch with a center that's going to help me get more affordable legal help. That is awesome. Great. Um, I bought some more time from my husband, told him I'm enjoying getting out of town, and I'd like to stay an extra night or two. I have therapy tomorrow and an appointment with a social worker to make a safety plan. I feel like I have a good crew of family, friends, and professionals all supporting me right now. Absolutely zero regrets about reading this in the journal. My gut told me that something was off, but I couldn't have imagined a worst-case scenario as bad as this. I'm so glad the inner alarm bells were louder than my conscious this whole time. Um, nothing about this marriage is worth risking my life to salvage. Yeah, and we're hearing alarm bells right. Yeah, now. yeah, we're literally hearing a car alarm. All, all, yeah, it's like it's here. And off. Corey B, thanks for the fifteen bucks. So happy I could catch you all for a live show. Just happened upon y'all while having a tough time at work, and you're able to pick you up. We'll we'll pick you we'll up anytime. Pick you up. This yeah. is us carrying you. Yeah, Corey yeah. B. You we are, are you're here. at school, and it's it's closing time. I'll come pick you up. There yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah. 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 meet me by with, the flagpole. With a pole. snack. Yeah, with a snack. Oh, apples yeah, and peanut butter, butter unless you're allergic to peanuts. Ooh. Yeah, or apples. Or, yeah. or apples. True. Is anyone allergic to apples? Naima. My girlfriend's uh, allergic to apples. Seriously? Yeah. That's crazy. Y'all need to tell me your allergies in advance because yeah, I dude. found out that Riley's allergic to shrimp after cooking a bunch of shrimp. You didn't know that? No. I knew that. I like <laughs> effing around and finding out. Yeah. Just it's like. But how allergic in. is he? You know? That's yeah. the question. Let's find out. Uh, yeah. Test <laughs> eat. How many shrimp can you eat? Rolly Polly, thanks for the five bucks. <laughs> Risking my grades to be here. Love you guys. Let's go. Are we we'll not helping you. you study? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Send us the stuff. Let us know what you're you're, you're studying. We'll yeah. ask you quiz questions. English. Throughout the live stream, yeah. we'll like throw out random facts yeah. about whatever it is. I'm go. a literature major, so I can help. Helping you guys English. in school. You're welcome. Sam did I did. Yeah, I studied mechanical engineering. So if you have any engineering questions, I can't yeah. answer them. And Let's I did go. also <laughs> theater. Do we have? Do you have more of the story? Yeah, we do. So TLDR for everyone who's just joined the stream. I initially misread a part in the journal that says uh, my husband was thinking every day about unaliving me. Will keep myself out of the news and staying the heck away from him for good. Yeah. So basically she found the journals. The journal said, I want to I think about like unaliving my wife. Yes. Every every day. She misread it at first. She misread it. Now yeah. she knows exactly what it says, yeah. and she's done. She's away. She's getting safety. Yeah. She's getting also, help. Riley, can the people on TikTok hear us? Yes. Amazing. I, I, I just figured it out. Huge. Hey, yeah. You're a champion. What is Hi, TikTok. Hey. Uh, prisoner of war. That actually doesn't start with an S. Mm, prisoner of war. <laughs> Something like Prisoners. that. Roly poly, let us know what, what you're trying to communicate. Okay. All right. But we have an update. Another one seven days later. Just want to say a huge thank you for th- to this community for helping me through a challenging time. Woo. Your comments and message have been such a, a source of comfort, and I'm so touched by the kindness of internet strangers. At the suggestion of the social worker, I reported his journal to the local police, and that was unsurprisingly a one out of ten experience. Mm. The officer, really? I sp- the officer I spoke to, chided me for reading his journal. Spoke <gasps> spoke about. Uh, his quote unquote reasonable expect- uh, expectation for privacy and basically threatened to tell my husband had uh, I had reported You him. don't tell the murderer Whoa. that they're inside? Whoa. That's so fucked. That is insanity. Wait, you're saying the police don't have our best interests at heart? Mm-hmm. Crazy. Uh, it's so what? shocking. It's so what? shocking. What? <laughs> but you know what's not shocking is uh, Ka- Chris, Chris Cox. Cox sending us 20 <laughs> buckaroonies. <laughs> Love Thank you guys. You. I can't Thank believe you were live for six hours the other night. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe that either. I went yeah. to bed and they were going. We were up till 3 a.m. Up till 3 a.m. If you want us to continue streaming, we have a little donation yeah. bar. If we hit 500, we'll add another hour. History could repeat itself. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. You know, we're, we're okay with doing an hour stream today. That's it. That's it. That's what it be. Um, do, do, do. Back to the story. Uh, I had to firmly advocate for myself and stress that I was afraid for my life. All caps, as it should be. It was an awful conversation, but now there is at least a record, which includes yeah. the photos of a journal, a legal police record. At that. Okay, that's uh, at least we have a report. The family lawyer I spoke with advised me to file a protection order right away. The order would ban him from all contact with me and our child, bar him from our residence, my workplace, and any other places that I request. Bro, I just remembered that they have a kid together. Yeah. That's yeah. so fucked. That's why she's That's like, what's so bad. Yeah. 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 Um, he would then have to prove to a judge that he is a fit parent to be able to see his daughter again. And then we would go to mediation to try and agree on what visitation would look like. Smart. 
so smart. That's that's a great move. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another wrench in the situation is that we own a business together. Oh no. <sighs> Bro, they're so tangled. Uh, they're so tangled. Wow. Uh, oh man, they're literally like their livelihoods are 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 tied up oh in each Lord. other. Also, wow. speaking of livelihoods being tied up, cute kitty cat four seven two. Thanks for the ten Woo! bucks. You guys are awesome as heck. I know we're watching your videos. I'm so glad to see Riley and Sophia be on the screen so often. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we, they we deserve it. Like, you can okay. call me Sam, by the way. Uh, I don't have your don't put your number in the chat. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> We're too. There's too many there's great too people many. here. <laughs> okay. Um, so thank you. I have an appointment with another lawyer this week to discuss what my options are there. I was referring to the business. The business was my idea. I'm confident I can run it without him, and I want to. But he has put a lot of time and effort into it, and that is the main source of income for both of us right now. It's a good money maker, and I'm worried he'd fight me tooth and nail on this. Uh, we take turns going in, so I win as usual on Saturday uh, with a friend and a baseball bat. My goodness, um, I can. Oh. I mean. At that point, yeah, need it, yeah. Um, just like we too. need and love Queen Rebecca. Oh, for oh! Whoa, 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 Queen whoa. Rhubarb, thanks for the five bucks. Happy to catch my first stream while making mac and cheese, and then Izzy, 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 Izzy. two hundred bucks. They, is that put us over yet, Riley? Are we uh, there? No, it's, we're at three nineteen. Sheesh, three nineteen out of five. What are we? 15 minutes in oh like, my god my god also as you said love the discord we do have a discord yeah. if you guys want to to chat more privately or after or before the stream so what riley is that like where yeah is that? yeah i'll put it i'll put the link in the youtube chat guys i'll go. put it in the chat and i'll pin it yeah join the discord join the Rather discord Build community here. Yeah, you guys inspired yeah. us. Yeah, I've, I've been seeing y'all like talking in the comments to each other. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, again. we snoop. We're looking. We're in there. Yeah, we, I also added a bunch of channels just for you guys. So let me know what Ooh. channels you want or whatever. Yeah, that's nice. Excited. Thank um, you, Izzy. Thank you. You're the best. Let's see if we get five. Um, I continued my act of intending to reconcile, doing video calls with the baby, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. While I was at our workplace, right, because she has to go into business. Hmm. Oh no! I found another journal. What is he? Le what is this Hansel and Gretel journal? Yeah, <laughs> bread comes <laughs> everywhere. The theory of him like intentionally leaving it out is becoming more and more real. Now, yeah, I how think. many journals does this man have? God, dude. I mean, hey, self care, man. Journal. You got, you got. He's got his self care routine on lock. Yeah. If only it worked. <laughs> page after page of love letters to this woman going back months. <gasps> the progression from I like seeing you in the grocery store to Ew. I drove past your house today Ooh. was wild. Okay, wait, so wait. also now I'm scared for this other woman. Yes. Does he even actually know her like that? It doesn't seem. Now it seems like he's just I think they said they were her. friends. She was like, oh, this is a friend? Yeah. Of so it seems like he's right. interested in her and she might but it's not be like, interested in him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be like, oh, like it's a work friend work and crush. maybe he talks about her, but she's not at, like she's just be at work she or something. Or like, she, yeah, she doesn't really know him or know him like that at yeah. all. Yeah. Uh, Squidney456 says, OMG stalker. Yeah. 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 Psychopath. Yes. Psychopath alert. Yes. I can't yes. believe I. This episode of you, says Jesse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For real. Oh, my God. Oh, John, that's, do you, John, know, do you know what you is? It's not Liar. a movie. <laughs> it's not a movie. It was on Netflix and it's a TV show. <laughs> oh, and, there we go. And we're running a TV show that Sandra's supporting. <laughs> uh, $20 donation. I love you guys. I want to make a, a stained glass piece for you. I messaged you on Insta. That yeah. is so sick. Wasn't there talks of a P.O. box and a stream I we need to set, Riley has been up. saying we need to set up a P.O. Right. box. Because you we're, guys keep telling us that you're going to make us cool And then stuff. we can show the stuff on the stream yeah. in a yeah. segment. Yeah. We can get little, because um, I have those little uh, bookshelves things that are like oh, invisible dude, bookshelves. And you can decorate this. with all oh, the stuff so that sick. you guys make. Whoa. Yeah. Guys, this is amazing. Damn. Yeah. Oh, First thank you for the support. Box. Yeah. We'll also, get Groovy it. Hippie Chick, thanks for joining our little sillies. That's our Woo! private community here on YouTube. Hey. You can get all the live streams from Tuesdays that we private after the stream. All of our right there. live streams. Yeah, all of our live streams. Yeah. So um, get it before we so, go private. There's a join button somewhere yeah. down there on YouTube. And then Hannah Hairstrad, thanks for the five bucks. First live. Let's hey. go. Woo! Welcome, Welcome, Hannah. Yeah. Let's get back to it. Um. He writes about how he's deeply in love with her, can't wait to marry her, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, wait. Can, can we do a quick conspiracy yes. theory? Yes. And I think we already kind of said this, but my conspiracy theory is he doesn't actually know her. That, ah! 
Was there, was there water? What in there? happened? There was water in there. Uh, why? Why is there? <laughs> All right, that's live, Riley. baby. Riley's playing, <laughs> playing pranks, pranks on. Pranks. Oh, it's so wet. Oh, ew! It's so ew. wet. It's oh. wet. Wait, look, look, look! Look at this. Why <laughs> what is the so fuck? Wet? Oh! Are you blaming me? I didn't do anything. <laughs> we thought Riley's you pulled a little, a little us. silly. I'm yeah, you a little <laughs> silly prank. Oh my it, god! It's just water. It's just water. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna throw this water out though, because that's been on the. Floor. Jesse says, "I wow. hope it's only water. What else is it? What else would it be?" Yeah. I drink a lot of matcha. Golly. Yeah. Y'all are crazy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> let's, let's okay, let's get back to reality. All right. Back to dry, dry reality. Dry reality. Oh. I like wet reality much better. Oh, goodness. <laughs> the way of water. <laughs> um, so he wrote about every interaction that he's ever had with her, and the oh poor God. woman seems completely innocent and oblivious. Oh. Um, even when... Uh, even what he previously, even what he perceived as flirting seems like basic politeness. Oh, uh, hate okay. those people. Yeah. Um, he mentions a few other times that he wants me to pass away. The most recent entry was from the day before. Ooh. He writes to her that he thinks I might be breaking up with him, but that's fine because he never liked me that much anyways. If he's upset about anything, it's just about losing the house and how the breakup will be perceived by our friends and community. I'm curious if other people think I should warn the other woman. It's my yeah. instinct not to, at least not before the ink dries on the impending paperwork. And the ink hasn't dried on the donation that came from, from cute kitty cat four seven two. Cute kitty cat, thank you five dollars. We very much appreciate it. My name is Sam. My name is also Sam. Nice. Oh. You have so much in common. Yeah. Question on the chat. <laughs> Question to Sam, Sophia, and Riley. Yeah. Aww. And the other do we, Sam. Do we warn? And the other Sam. Do we tell the person? Do we warn? Mm. Do we warn? Okay. Him? All right. Well, pr- pros think, and cons. Thank list. you, ballroom. I $1. think $1.99. yes, but maybe I agree to wait until ink dries. Because, all right, pro, pro, pros, you're yeah. saving this other woman. Yes. Cons, you're potentially aggravating him further. That's what I'm worried and about. And he yeah. could attack, like, he could go after Do you anything. more. He could, like, yeah. make the divorce super, like, super messy. Yeah. Um, and, but, like, maybe, but no, maybe, maybe you tell her, but you say, like, hey, I wouldn't say anything yet mm. or where you got it, this it information. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Christy CC says she can warn her anonymously. I yeah. think that's probably she the move. She, she writes it in a journal. Yeah. She leaves the, <laughs> journal, leaves the out. journal out. Bro, Stop just, writing in journals. Dude, dude, God. you know what? You know what? Just like mail the journal to her or <gasps> photocopy the journal. Oh, right. Um, cut out magazine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cut, cut out letters from magazines. That's like at that point she He's would, watching you. <laughs> she like she would do something that, that will help, right? I did not Cubicle three is watching you. <laughs> this works and perfectly. Every move. It's just like, What's Wait, that? who gifted the subs? Was it Jesse? Who was it? If it was Jesse was again, it? It, let me check. Let me check. Yeah, guys, put drop, drop, in the the chat, the drop in the chat. Who it was? Uh, yeah, it let was... us know. What reseller road trip? What? Well, reseller yeah, we, we can figure it out. Yeah, reseller we'll road trip. But let's get back into the story. Um, so I was already concerned about how he might react to being served with the protection order. Yeah. Most worried that he might try to sabotage our business or trash the house. Given how preoccupied he seems with his public image, I made a plan to confront him about the journals and use the protection order as leverage. Ooh, yeah. Wow. I think wow. with another person, if she does do this, go with another with a friend and a baseball bat. Mm. <laughs> and some peanut butter jelly. Yeah, like just a, a whole team, security team. Like, yeah, in, yeah dude. In and live stream it. Possible. Yeah. And, and live stream it. And thanks. Speaking of which, thanks to Cute Kitty and uh, what was it right before? Uh, that uh, was Ted, Ed, and Lime Juice. Thanks for the two bucks. This man should not be dating anybody. Ew. Facts. Oh and God. Cute Kitty, I was trying to tell you I wasn't hitting on you because I said you can call me Sam in my first donation. Hey, whatever it was, I'm thankful for both. <laughs> True. <laughs> Whether it was to call in on the show or if it was, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, whether call in the show or call me, it's all good. <laughs> Um, and Legs, thanks for the six dollars <laughs> of ILS. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, John, when are you getting married? That's a great question. 
Yeah. That's Naima in disguise right yeah. now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Naima's alias. People, I, yeah. the, the Naima gang is strong here ever yeah. since she popped in the last stream. And thanks for asking, too, yeah. for the 14 Canadian. Uh, we got to get to 500 so sleepers can get in here and go team so a sleepless nights yeah. oh. if anyone's unfamiliar sleepless, sleepless nights yeah. is the general of, of our army is yeah. our icon yeah dude our savior and we, our lord we worship her <laughs> yeah, honestly truly, yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> we have a this shrine this is the sleepless nights fla uh, fan club yeah, yeah, it, truly yeah. is. it truly is <laughs> we sung her happy birthday on the yeah. last stream yeah, and, so and did a little call in yeah sleepless was great yeah what a stream if you haven't seen that stream check it out go check it out did we make an up going public or was that uh, that one may have gone private. Uh, well, private. one of them went 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 uh public. One of them went private. That's right. The That's the right. the birthday stream was private. The birthday. So stream. join our little sillies if you want to see that stream. There you go. She's passed out. <sighs> so, um, now we are at the point. Op is confronting him publicly. We've reached we've reached the point. Wow. Yeah. Wow. In a public mm -hmm. place, though. Yeah. In a public place oh. with the trusted friend and everything. Here's how it went down. I left the journal and my baby with my friend and went to our house with two trusted male friends and the baseball bat. Good. They waited on our porch and I told my husband that if they heard anything louder than a speaking voice, they would come in with the bat. <gasps> Good. I told him I had to tell him something he wouldn't like to hear and he needed to know that I had already taken steps to protect myself. I told him I read the journals. Specifically, what he said about wanting me to pass away and thinking every day about unaliving me. My I, God. I said I had taken photos. That the they courage are, to do that yeah. is crazy. In, insane. Insane. Props to her. Oh. I said I had taken photos and that they are backed up with and a trusted source also has copies. That I also have the original copy of the journal full of the love letters. I wondered until this moment if he had intended me to find them. But he was obviously blindsided. He tried to say it was just venting, but I told him I would not take any chances or be entertaining anything that he had to say about it. That after reading what I read, I will never trust him or feel safe around him ever again. Yeah. Warranted. And also, Ireland Mahoney, thanks for the five bucks. This man is way past a Lulu. Yeah, I mean, he's psychotic. He's psychotic. Yeah. Just How do we past. think he's going to respond, though? If we were to put on our well, little conspiracy hat. Yeah. Uh, my conspiracy hat is wet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can have this one. What's conspiracy. your conspiracy? Uh, I don't... Oh, uh, uh, uh. Um, wait, what was the question? Well, so he, she, he, she she is telling him... She's confronting him and She's confronting him and telling him the do? truth. What do you think he's going to do? I, well, I think he's already started. He's like, oh, that's not true. Like, I, I didn't oh, mean yeah. that. He's going to deny. Yeah, well, he's already doing that. Deny. And then, and then he's going to get angry. Find mo more hidden ways to lash out. Like, yeah. I don't even know. Like, he could be lying. Yeah. still about not leaving them out mm. um so i think maybe yeah. maybe now that the like could he do something to sabotage the clients or business yeah secretly yeah. i think he... i think he's going i think he's gonna I, I could i could see him going nuclear yeah yeah he said he because he has let he does have leverage with the business and stuff yeah. yes a hundred percent and he seems like he's driving but he seems like very like sneaky and like wants to do it in a way where it's like not immediately obvious but like mentally yeah f's, f's and for everyone yeah. in the stream tldr basically uh op found her husband's journals he said that he wanted to kill her and now there's the fallout from that yes yeah. uh and hannah hairstead thank you for <laughs> the donation and use this for new conspiracy theory hats yeah we need we need to make yeah more. that's it's true it's sophia make job. some yeah, yeah make throw, some. throw us a few bucks and yeah. we'll, we'll give some, sophia some supplies yeah. aluminum foil <laughs> there you go. premium edition yeah. uh, so back to the story opie says i told him that no one that knows him knows about this yet the men on the porch just know that i'm breaking up with him and need the support this was true aside from the friend that i called to stay with and the other friend i sent the photos to who lives on the other side of the country I said I am willing to protect his reputation here if he cooperates with me. Ooh, now that is blackmail. smart. That is smart. Um, oh, because yeah. now she has. So, so she's, she's like, got proof. I have proof, I, and he's very concerned about his reputation. Yeah. So if it escapes, he could get like totally reputationally brilliant. Yeah. So the right move. Yeah, yeah let, gut, gutter the waif says leverage. 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 That's, That's how you right. do it, ladies and gentlemen. Leverage. That's how you do it. 
Kronk. <laughs> Kronk. <laughs> Pull the lever. <laughs> Pull the leverage. Um, and shout out to Destiny for the two bucks. We appreciate it. Yeah. Um, You're awesome. I told him that I don't even have. Uh, I told him that I don't even have to ruin his chances with the other woman, but I can. I said that he can either do what I need to feel safe, or I can have that safety court ordered. He asked what I wanted, and I said I wanted him to give up the business. We'll sort out the details after I speak to the other lawyer, but for now, I want his keys, and I'll be changing the passwords on everything. Oh, wait. So, do they have a job and also a business that they, they have, have a phys- uh No, they have a physical location. Physical for location. The yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm worried also, is this other woman an employee of his? I don't think so. I don't yeah. think it was someone from work. No, okay. I no. Think, I think we were he saw her in like a grocery a store and like stuff. Like that kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I thought she was a coworker. Okay. Yes. Um, I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Wrong um, level. <laughs> He didn't want to hear anything about what it would look like to go to the courts. He didn't ask about our baby. He just calmly got up and got the keys and asked if I wanted anything else. I told him that any communication with me should be around separation logistics only, like arranging a time for me to like arranging a time for me to collect the rest of my things from the house. Since then, he has been blowing up my phone saying, I know his heart. Let's walk back from the edge. Let's talk to a therapist. He's sorry for the words that hurt me, et cetera, et cetera. Each time. Words I t- that hurt you? Bro. Bro. Beyond. Beyond, Beyond. words. Says, I don't understand this man. He's saying that he doesn't want to be in the relationship. And then he's like, I want to be in the relationship. Yeah. Well, he, no, he's a coward. He's a coward. Yeah. Yeah. And also, Jaliba, thanks for the 20 bucks. Woo. And Dan, Dan, Dan. Dan. <laughs> Thanks for the 500 Filipino pesos. Good morning for the Philippines. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Good morning. morning. Good morning. Um, Good morning. Each time he does this, I just tell him he's crossing my boundaries and he backs off. He apparently told his mom and sister everything and they're supporting him and getting help. Oh, he's... I thought they were just supporting him. Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Like... We're on his side, actually. And And I'm reading this as told his mom and sister that a separation is happening not all of the the messed mm, stuff oh. stuff that he's done um but that's my understanding of it uh-huh. he's been cooperating so far he's interviewing for a new job seeing a therapist and up- updating me on his movements though i didn't ask to know any of this okay uh so that's i mean it seems like it's going well ish yeah he's like cooperating even if he's you know he's still being like Oh, we can take it back. Da, da, da. At least it's like okay, OP has him like right where she right wants where she him. wants him. At mm-hmm. least, at least. Um, I've temporarily moved in with my parents. My commute is my commute to work is no longer, but I have help with the baby and home cooked dinners. Starting to settle into my new routines. I'm doing so much therapy. All caps. That's good, girl. I mean, I can't imagine how much yeah. therapy you need to get through this. <laughs> yeah, um, and yoga. I inherited yeah. a small cabin before my husband and I met. Sheesh. It is currently nice. being renovated, and the original plan was to move in there with my husband and baby when it's done. The cabin is actually in my mother's name because she never trusted my husband. <gasps> wow. wow. So other people saw she, the signs. She read a journal. Wow. Other people saw the signs. Yeah. OP was probably like in love to yeah. a certain extent yeah. and like ignored the red flags. Bro, yeah. shout out to mom. Thank God. What a yeah. what foresight. Mama's instinct, that. dude. Mama's wow. instinct. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Um, and wanted me to shield it from him in case of a divorce. Thank you, mom. Smart, mm, smart. Yeah. So I will have a permanent home for me and the baby. That's great. Very soon. Yeah. Emash too says her mother was on point. Yeah. Moms know. Yes. And Mom's a quick no. TLDR for anyone that's just joined. Um, so basically. The husband wrote that he wanted to unalive his uh, his wife in a journal. She found out and is using his reputation as leverage right now. Yeah, like I can ruin your reputation, release yes. the journals. Yes, and she's found a safe place, got a support system. Like so far, things are working in her favor. She's got the support system she needs. It's going good so far. Yeah. It's going good so far. Um, do do do. <gasps> Jesse with the ninety-two Wait. dollars. Jesse with the ninety-two. Does that mean I that, think means, that means, another means another hour? Another Let's go, Jesse. Jesse. Thank you. And a little kiss back right for you. Mwah. 
Wow. Thank wow. you. And if you're just tuning in, like the stream. What are you doing like if you're it. not liking it? Also, uh, if we like, if you guys spam the chat, it actually brings more people in. Oh. Really? We're gonna do a not like a, like a we're, yeah we're gonna do like a like a like a commenter thing. So spam the chat. Yeah. Shout out to Jesse. Shout out Jesse. W's Jesse in the w. chat. W's for Jesse. W's for for crazy. Let's let's see if we get be, make this the biggest stream ever. We've the the most we've ever had is like 500. If we get to 600. Um, 600 see. concurrent, 600 people on the stream. Let's try to do it. Spam it, guys. Spam let's it. Blow it up. Spam blow it up. It. Why right. not? Back to the story. The dust still needs to settle, uh, and it could get worse before it gets better, but I am optimistic at this point. I'm confident I'm going to come out on the other side of this a badass single mom with oh, yeah. an incredible child. Living a, in a cabin. A thriving business and an adorable little home. Hell that yeah. is... That's a, like quite the roster, Yeah, right? she literally, she was like, you're going to give me the business. I'm going to take the yeah. baby and we're going to go live in the cabin. She Boom. manifested that shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Honestly, the thought of having all of those things on my own without my husband is so freeing. It's a great village that's supporting me. Thank you all so much for being a part wow. of this. Wow. Wow. We have some relevant comments, but that's the end of the. That's the end. Of the, I, I would love to hear the relevant comments, and maybe we can get, yeah. do a little bit breakdown because, like, yeah. I'm kind of wondering, like, what are I, like? It feels like she kind of did everything right, but like, yeah. what are the signs of someone like this? You know, that's, I wonder what the mom saw. Which, yeah, shout out to me because I was like, yeah, you this were there person, from day one. I was there from day one, but yeah, no, th like, yeah. Sophia from, and I were a little skeptical. Like, oh, oh I, he's not a psychotic. Yeah. I didn't say. I said, I psychotic is a big word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was just like, he needs help. Yeah. yeah. But Which he does. does. Yeah. He does. A million percent. Still does. He Lots of it. more help than I originally thought. Yeah. <laughs> and like, what, what was the behavior early on? Because it, it, OP literally was not privy to anything yeah. until she read the, the journals. I'm, well, they had a fight. Yeah. Sorry. Fight. You're right. They had yeah. a fight, but she didn't, well, she, at, at a minimum, she didn't go into detail yes. about like, I feel like she would have yeah. been like, I had these big doubts before. These were these things. Yeah, she just said know. the two week fight and then the journals. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like like that obsession would show up in other places. Yeah. Like yeah. he like in the journals, he was like, I, I saw was, her yeah. in the grocery store. Yeah. And like all these like weird kind of I drove past her house. Yeah, I drove past yeah. her. That's fucking creepy. That like, is creepy. Like all these stalkery things. How I does can't he know she lives. Yeah, well, I don't know he's following her, but like I can't imagine that doesn't like come out in other ways, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like if you're a stalker, you're probably stalkery in other ways. hundred percent. Or obsessive in other ways. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if you y'all know like it, it, it put put like red flags that you have seen in stalker behavior. <gasps> I have an okay story time about this. Are you gonna tell that story that I think you're about yes, to tell? Yeah, uh, the with the, the cut off penises? Oh, oh no! Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. No. I, this is this is true. It happened to my friend. That's true. Okay, well, okay, we, story time after. Yeah. Do do we want to dive into relevant comments and okay story yeah. times? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, uh, relevant comment from Yeah, no, he's already not putting up a fight, and that itself is a huge relief. If she still lets the lady know, it could make him snap and hurt her and the baby. OP has to think about her kid's safety and trying to be a target. This is in reference to should she tell the woman that he was like obsessing over. And like writing like love love letters to filling up a whole journal with yeah. yeah op this is exactly where my head is at i don't know this woman so i can't trust her not to tell friends and i don't want it to get back to him still likes turtle says op's lawyer or social worker should handle that good point op should share it with both um either can take appropriate action to inform the other woman no need for op's life to be messier or give the soon to be ex anything to work with yeah yeah great point uh op lawyer agreed with me and that's that it's best not to talk to the woman for now the police no um tub tub Namorama Num says uh it would make a wonderful book someday maybe you can turn this horrible event into a stream of income for you and your baby so how somehow <laughs> there you go that's help. some uh lemons and lemonade that sure. is true um it takes a week just to get the appointments sometimes with lawyers therapists etc but protection orders can come in quickly please tell us this is a real that you didn't lie to us OP, it is all unfortunately real. For anyone wow. else in a similar situation that might be reading this in my area, there is a legal center that holds a space for uh, emergency appointments every day at 2 p.m. Protection orders are processed the same day they are filed. That's my understanding. I didn't actually file one yet. As far as a therapist, I have one I see regularly. So I already had an appointment on the books. After speaking with me, my therapist opened up an additional weekend appointment because I obviously needed the extra support. 
Wow. Good resolution, yeah, though. I'm Good glad resolution. Yeah. Out. yeah, and for everyone so tuning in, the TLDR on this story is basically OP found her husband's journals. In the journals, he said he wanted to kill her. Yeah. And basically, she had to do all this whole rigmarole to uh, exit. Rigamortis. Yeah, to exit rigamortis. Yeah. yeah, just like to exit the relationship. Which yeah. she did. Which yeah. she did. Kept her business. She had a, a, a cabin? New house cabin that's being renovated. She. Made, made it out yeah. and made yeah. it out well has a good support system yeah so it did work out also thankfully. if you haven't liked the stream go ahead and like, like it. it if you haven't subscribed and you're subscribe. in the live stream come on oh and also videographo thanks for the 10 Woo! bucks we appreciate you here's half the youtube blank that should show iphone users how to join the button i don't know what that means oh join the, the join button the join button for our little sillies join the little sillies community that's awesome Thank um, you for pointing that out. Yeah, but <laughs> um, awesome. we uh, we do have a little little OKOP beef. But do we, we do. want to talk about? We have the two snips? OK story times. Yeah, which one do you want to do first, let's Riley? Do, you choose. Let's do. Uh, yeah, let's do. Riley's let's do Riley. Beef. All right, Riley. Riley. We're talking about some OKOP OK beef. I hate you guys right now. <laughs> like there. Okay, so yesterday there's this new movie that I've been wanting to see for a while. It's called Dune Two. It came out <laughs> yesterday, and these people <laughs> were. I was like, hey, you guys want to like go and they're like no sorry we're gonna go like do something else so Sophia and I decided to go and we went it was awesome it was great but um last night I get back and I see that this guy Sam <laughs> wasn't in his room and I was like oh you know he's up to some shenanigans or whatever I like, didn't <laughs> think anything of it didn't check his location because you know I trusted him <laughs> um, <laughs> What and then we we come this morning and I was. We like, also pulled into the driveway and we saw John's car was still there and yeah. it was like eleven thirty and we're like, what? what? Do I, I didn't want to assume that, but I guess that's what yeah. that was. I was like, no way, John's still here. And I went I actually yeah. went into the office to see if you were in there and you weren't. So I was like, hmm, interesting. So <laughs> we we were hanging out at, or today and he, John was like, yeah, Sam might need to take a nap today. I was like, oh yeah, I saw that he was out pretty late last night. And then uh, John was like, I was there with him. I was like, oh, really? What were you guys doing? <laughs> and then he looks at me dead in the <laughs> face. And he says, we saw Dune 2 together. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that was hurt because I was like, I thought we were going to watch it together, but apparently not. Apparently, okay. apparently Riley, they had other plans. Riley, I am sorry, first of all. But to in our defense, <laughs> it was a spur of the moment kind of thing. So, we. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell, 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 well, we were we, we were having like a meeting with like some of our other friends who were like we're talking YouTube stuff and like how to build the best channel possible for you guys. And then it was like ten thirty, yeah. and Dune came up. We're like, do I just want to go see like Dune together? And we're like, yeah, we want to see Dune together. And so we went at like eleven oh five. Guess what time my movie ended? When eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, wait, if, which one did you go to? We did went you go to, to the Santa Sand Monica Seven. In oh, Provenant. oh, where do you I guys go? Four. I was at four. Uh -huh. We were like for, down the street. Oh man, down well, dude, but it was great. It was a great. It was a great. If anyone hasn't great. seen Dune Two, I was tired. Highly, highly recommend. It was a movie. Slightly. I watched it and enjoyed it yeah. thoroughly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. We were, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you guys get the popcorn yeah. bucket? Yeah, the one that looks like a. Yeah. I had to talk Riley out of getting the popcorn bucket. <laughs> it's the one that looks like a flashlight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, almost did. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm hurt, but. Second OKP is story time. So, okay, 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 story time about cut off penises. Some of like real fans will know this story, yeah. um, but it's relevant to the last story that we read about the guy basically wanting to murder his wife. Um, but uh, also, Burning Rose, thanks to the 10 bucks, one of my exes was a stalker. He monitored my social media for other men I may be wow. talking to and went into detail on how he would kill me if he thought I was cheating. Oh my god. I am glad he is an ex oh burning god. rose. Very much. Oh I'm my so sorry. goodness. Oh my goodness. And Videographer, thanks for the five bucks. I was trying to post the link because explaining is hard, but it involves using your app to access the web page where you can find the join button. I think there is actually a link. To there probably is a link. Beyond just the, the button itself. Yeah. And Dan, 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 uh, thanks for the donation for uh, Big Protein's Hurt, hurt feelings. feelings. Okay. He needs it. I guess it wasn't enough. He yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> no, it was, it was great. I had a great no time. Worries. But it was just the fact that, hey, you guys want to go see it? And they said no. And then they went behind my backs and did it. That's what hurts. We still love you. Um, we but up. anyway... True fans pieces. of OKOP will, will will know this story, but yeah, I um, got a story. 
You got a story? Yeah, but you about cut off penises? No. Okay. <laughs> about inefficient police work. Okay, Ooh. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. But um, okay, so uh, one of my friends was dating this girl, right? And he's an artist. This was in college, and um, he's an artist, and this girl was an artist too, and she's like seemed like pretty cool. Uh, we were looking for an apartment, and she's like, "Hey, an apartment actually opened up in my building. I think you guys could get a good deal." Kirby Ray, thanks for the five bucks. Um, and so, uh, uh, we end up moving into her apartment complex and as we're getting a tour of the place, she's like, would you like to see my place to see like what your apartment could look like? And we're like, sure. And so we go into her place and she's an artist. So I'm like expecting to see some art and I walk in and literally on every wall, on every wall, there are these massive paintings and they're beautiful. They're intricate. But the paintings are all of severed penises, like everywhere. And it's like it's like like there's sculptures of severed penises. There's like like a graveyard of severed penises. It's like it's cool. But I'm like like after I get out, I'm like, Will, like like it was kind of like like you better be careful. <laughs> you don't want to end up like her, her severed penis posters. Yeah. Um anyway, like two weeks into us moving in, she literally lives like a couple doors down in the apartment complex. Two weeks to us moving in, he breaks up with her, right? Classic. And it seemed like it was an okay break. Like, you know, they had a like a talk and it was fine, right? Then like a couple days later, she like starts like like she starts leaving notes places, like on his car journals. and uh not journals, <laughs> quite, but like journals, they're notes back. Everywhere. journals. Ah! And so she starts leaving notes everywhere and we're like, okay, that's kind of weird. And like Will's like telling us a little bit about these notes. I'm like, hey, like I'm kind of getting like a little bit worried. And then it's like midnight, Will's in his room working. Uh me and my roommate Tim and Ishan are in the living room, like uh just like hanging out. And we hear and we're like, what the fuck? Wait, what is that? It's like super late. Who's at, at the door? At midnight. That's ridiculous. Right? And we open the door and she's standing with a cake in her hands, crying, looking at us and like crying and basically saying, I need to talk to Will. And oh, shit, fuck. <laughs> I need to talk to my friend. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she said all the names, by the yeah. way. I was like, okay. I was, I guess you, already start, you already said his name. Did I? Yeah. Everyone's okay. names so far. Yeah, you've said everyone's names. Whose names? Oh, well, the other names are fine. The other names are fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I didn't say her name. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm bad at this, guys. <laughs> Censor me. Anyway. Just pretending that was all a right. fake name. That's a, that yeah, sorry. Yeah, I mean, that's a fake name. There we go. Um, and so... <laughs> Uh, uh, kn knocks in the door and and like he's like like my friend still in the and in, in the friend book two doesn't shame they don't want to know uh, is like working and so we're we're at the door and we're looking at her and she's like I need to give this to my my ex um and we're like hey like I really don't think it's a good idea for you to come in like it doesn't make sense and she's like no I need to give this to him I need to give this to him and now we're thinking like it's like poisoned oh, for sure. or something uh. or like he's like she has severed penises in her fucking uh, in her, in her room, and so we're like, hey, like you, you uh, we really, you, you can't come in. This is not a good time. We can like arrange a time for you to talk to him, but now it's not a good time. Oh my God. Yeah. She drops the cake on the floor and bum rushes us, right? Just like breaks in and is trying to like s like sprint to his room. Um, and so we have to like uh like grab her and like no, like you you cannot you cannot come in here. Yeah. Um, and then as soon as we grab her, she goes limp. Um, and just like drops to the floor, right? And so now she's on the floor and we're like, you have to leave, you have to leave. And she's like kicking oh and screaming God. and like making like the most noise possible. Uh, my friend is like in the room. I think I think he heard, but he was just his headphones on, just kind of like <laughs> working, like, trying to ignore it. Little, little selective hearing. <laughs> we have to drag her out of our apartment and put her outside and say, you cannot come in. And we close the door really quickly. And she's like, like getting up off the ground. She bangs on the door for three hours. And Did you, why didn't doesn't you call leave. the police? Ah, we're not police calling kind of guys. Like we didn't feel like threatened. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. we should have. Yeah. We're not police Maybe we should have with all the severed penises. And that was the only time you guys locked your door. <laughs> yeah, that's the, only, that's the only time. We never locked our door. That's the only time we actually locked Another your door. Another great thing to share with everyone. <laughs> We no, no, no. We locked this bag. door because I locked this door. This yeah. door. yeah, but uh, yeah, she 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 stood there for like hours and hours and hours. And then after that, she started following him 
wherever she went. We went to this, like we were getting this some Japanese groceries Michael, and she, um, she started following him. We're like, you cannot keep following us. Right. Eventually the only thing that ended up working is she worked at the school we all went to as a TA. And Ooh. he said, if you keep doing this, I am going to report you to the school. You will lose your job oh and God. possibly worse. Yep. And that was the only thing that stopped wow. it. And that's all to say, like, love is crazy. <laughs> Yay, <yikes. laughs> My story is not as interesting. Yeah. Nikki, Nikki Orendoff says clinger stage five for sure. My goodness. Yikes. Yeah. That's big. That's big. Yikes. Yeah. So don't. Be careful of severed penis drawings. I guess that's <laughs> take it as a warning. That, yeah, that's a warning. That's my red yeah. flag. Yeah. But Sophia, well, you have a, a story. Uh, it's not as interesting. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just about inefficient police uh -huh. policing. Uh, so a couple months ago, as you know, I was traveling, and right before two days before I was supposed to leave, um, I was I had parked in a garage, and someone had hit my car. Uh, and then left and like not le uh, left a note or right. anything. A bastard. And like really badly, like full on rammed my, the back of my car. And I was like, what? Uh, and so I went to the talk to the security guards and stuff. Um, and they were like, yeah, we have like footage. There's a camera pointing directly at your car. Oh, nice. And I was like, nice. Got him. Um, and, and I was like, okay, like, uh, how can I get that footage? And they were like, oh, well, we can't give that to you. And I was like, <laughs> Well, okay. Geez. What's the point of having cameras if you can't get the footage? I was like, awesome, awesome. They were like, well, you have to, you have to file a police report, and we have to give it to the the police station. And I was like, all right. And so I go home, I file a police report, and then I send that. I call up the security guards. I say, here, got a police report, and they say, no, no, no. Um, now you just have to let the police handle it. And I was like, what do you mean? How? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? How? How would they handle it? They don't. They don't know your number. And then so I was like, okay, I guess I have to call the police. And so I call up the police um, with like the number that they left. I call the um, LAPD. And, um, and they're like, oh, no, no, this, did you get hurt in the accident? I was like, well, no, I wasn't in the car. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, oh, this line is only for uh, if you get hurt in an accident. Dude. And I was like, well, great. And so I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so I, I file another thing. And I'm waiting to hear back. And then I have to leave for my trip. So I'm, I'm literally gone. That's the crazy thing that's yeah. like similar about this story yeah. and the last story is like the police are like, sorry, if you didn't get can't murdered, yeah. we can't, can't do you. anything. Call us yeah. back when you get stabbed. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe we could do something. Yeah. But the best part is so I'm in Spain. This is uh, so I'm traveling around. And when I'm in Spain, I'm trying to call them again because I'm like, I'm not getting anything. My mom's like, hey, the insurance needs like, do we have the footage? And so I call the police again. And uh, this lady picks up and she goes, hi, like, what's, what, what's your reason for calling? And I'm like, hey, this is what happened. And she says, okay, can you please hold? Uh, and I go, yes. So she, hang, uh, she changes over. I wait, like, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, line comes back on. A lady starts speaking to me in Spanish. And I'm for like, what? Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. Literally, I, but I was like, sorry, know I don't you're speak in Spain. Spanish. And she's like, oh, uh, okay, but you're in Spain. I was like, but I spoke to the lady in English. <laughs> Dude, that that is and nothing so ever annoying. Happened. Yeah, and, dude, I, yeah. I feel like that's that's the thing with like a lot of yeah. these police reports. It's just like nothing ever happens. So you nothing. never you never got the footage or, or nope. anything. No. no. But Riley, you know yeah, what? So it's all my insurance. We now. just got. We got a donation that I can't quite see. That now I can see it from Grace W. Uh, Grace says, "Little sillies in the chat. Don't forget to like the live. Thank you, OK Fam, for all your hard work. You guys make my day. That is why we're here. You make our day. And guess okay. what? Guess what? what? We're about what? to make your day with another freaking story. So buckle up, oh, that's boys me. and girls. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, that story was long. <laughs> buckle up. We're about to get into this next story. Also, for people in the last live stream." I am going on that date with the 40 year old and you guys gave me great advice. So, um, Sophia is not happy. My mom's not happy. I am sorry. Friends. Mom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, am I am there for you, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. So <laughs> am I the a-hole for ordering food that my husband can't eat? And this yes. comes from a throwaway account. So yes, I 28 yes. female have been with my husband, 28 male for nine years, married for two this summer. We have a daughter who is seven years old. We rarely even fight. And if we do, it has been more major and serious things. But this, what to me was a small issue, is now turning into the biggest argument that we've ever had. Oh. So the problem is that me and our daughter love spicy food. 
I always have, and ever since I felt comfortable with her trying it, she has loved it too. Sure, we couldn't compete in a spice eating contest, and even though our tolerance is high, it is not extreme, but my husband, he hates it. He is one of those people who thinks spice is unnecessary and only likes to use salt and pepper. So uh-huh. it's kind of like only salt and pepper. What about what about non spicy seasonings? This medieval we have, salt. Yeah, yeah. this medieval yeah. garlic is salt. too spicy. He's got like a turkey leg, and he's like, I don't use spices. Man. Guys, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. What? His ethnicity. Why you think he's white? I don't think. Bland <laughs> white. He probably thinks mayonnaise think. is spicy too. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. <laughs> I don't know. Am I uh, right? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. What? Also, Jesse says, I prefer older men, so I can't hate on Sam. Yeah, don't hate. Yeah, uh, This is not a problem. <laughs> Sometimes I make a batch that suits his taste. Another one for me and our daughter. Mm. Sometimes me and our daughter will just eat how it is to his liking, as too little spices is easier to handle than too much, as it would be for him. Now, this Saturday, he was away with friends to go pick up some car parts. It was a 12-hour drive in total, and they left at about 9. I went ahead and ordered from an Indian place that our daughter has as her favorite. My husband also likes this place and just orders something wild when we... Oh, sorry. Mild. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Not wild. You ordered something crazy. I put some oregano on this one, boys and girls. Woo! (laughs) He's got the salt. (laughs) Going crazy I'm going. I'm going to... What is it? Cholesterol that goes up with salt? What is it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm going to fuck my cholesterol up. Just order something mild when we eat from there. Since my husband was not home, I did not order him anything as I thought that they... Would have eaten on the road. When he got home, he greeted us, then immediately went to the fridge and saw some boxes left of food. When he opened them, he obviously noticed he could not eat any of them. Now, we argued just for about five minutes of this. The consensus of the argument was him saying that I should have either thought about him and ordered him something, or I should have asked him if he had eaten eaten or wanted anything. I argued that I would have probably done so if it was just a few hours he was away, but he was away for 12 hours and came home about four hours after we usually eat. So I assumed he had eaten. Sounds like they had like a deal, um, but he's just like not. <laughs> he's gone. It doesn't sound like he he's had gone a deal. for 12 hours. It sounds and he's like, like why you didn't give me sounds, any food? Yeah, yeah, dude. That's wild. Well, also like I feel like expecting someone to feed you is maybe not. Like a good idea. Food. Get I've your own never, food. Yeah. yeah. And I learned that the hard way. That's not even the same though. Cause you were like, it, we don't know if they have any sort of de- deal. Yeah. He's just complaining. Cause he can't eat this spicy food, that he, Dude, which he can. He grow can. up. Eat some spice. Drink some milk. Drink some, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Do That's some hot ones. Amanda of Andre says giant baby. Yeah. Grace W says sounds like a fair assumption. Oh really? So you're like, uh, he, he, she, she should have. No fair assumption to assume that he's. He's white. a giant baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Darlene baby. Aguilar says, "Bitch ass baby man who can't make food on his own." Baby. Kirby Ray says, "Still kind of dealing with it, but thanks for the kind words." Um, is that the OK community helping each other? Grace W says he needs some milk, as yeah. John said. Yeah. So now he has barely talked. He cooked dinner for himself because, in his words, I can't be bothered. He texted me from the living room when I was cooking for me and my daughter that he hoped I was happy to have my food my way now. Mm, He's extremely weird about this. He has never acted this way about something like this, and I'm getting even more confused by it all. And there is an edit. Hi, thanks for all the comments of someone's judgments. To clear something up, no, my husband did not cheat. (laughs) Reddit! Reddit's like, well, he doesn't like spicy food. He must be cheating Cheater. on you. Must be oh, no. getting his spice somewhere else. Or some Just spicy sleep Riley. with another woman. Oh, he perhaps. was gone for 12 hours. Oh, oh I have a okay story, oh. Tom, about spicy food and graham crackers. Oh. Oh, mm. oh I thought you like, were pausing us because you had something to say about the cheating. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, there is something to do with spicy food and cheating in a way. So I think I think we're actually a little bit more split in the chat. So uh, if you scroll up a little bit, like Willock says the ick that the husband is getting. But Squidney456 says, I think it's just not worth the fight. He felt unconsidered because he spent 12 hours driving. But then Cassandra Lay says he can't order his own food. Also, she has to communicate with him a bit. He couldn't have communicated to her before getting home. Yeah. Like if he was in he the car really 12 hours. Me up something. Also, yeah. I don't. 
do we know that he was in the car for 12 hours or he was just away for 12 hours? He was, was so he was away with friends to go pick up some car parts. It was a 12 hour drive in total and they left at about nine. Damn. So it's not okay, like okay, so where are they going? Uh, far away <laughs> to cheat probably. But also if I car was parts. with friends, I would have gotten food. Yeah. Right? So I don't know why. Uh, babe, is. it's impossible. I'm using my mouth to talk yeah. with my friends. I can't. I can't. Get I can't. Food. What am I supposed to do? Hey, guys. No. They all wanted impossible. to get spicy food. <laughs> uh, that was a little, a little sus uh, uh, acting, John. A little. Hey. <laughs> we're sus 2024. Yeah, accept it. Yeah. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I'm not saying anything wrong. I'm just. I'm just. Nom, nom, he, nom, he, nom. he might. He might be turning on the audience. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> wait, wait, uh, John. If you had a salt shaker, and you had to, <laughs> oh, come on. If you had to shake in your mouth. How would you do it? Oh, like nice try. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we ended. So to clear something up, my husband did not cheat. He was picking up car parts. He does not have a girlfriend or feels guilty <laughs> about something that happened on the trip. We talked this morning and he told me that he just felt forgotten about. And after he ate, he was <laughs> too ashamed to say he was sorry for starting an argument about this. I also apologized Why? for not even texting him and told him I was sorry for hurting him and also continued the argument. For, without considering his feelings. Everything is great. And from now on, we will just try to communicate better. Thanks again okay, for the help. I guess that's fine. So it sounds like they sounds like they, they figured it out. What? What, John? What are you looking for? Oh, oh. I agree. I agree. I think that's Tell me why. I Tell me why. Red flag segment. Um, and a banana. Thanks for the five bucks. Love you guys. Just became a little silly member. Currently woo! trying to get through this last hour of work while being super sick and helping it fly by. Sillies. Yeah. Sophia, I want to hear your red flag. Ready? Woo! Oh, sorry. I almost died. <laughs> yeah. In the eyeball, Sam. Wait, Sophia, what do you got? Wait. What's your red flag? Oh, I caught it. Um, <laughs> hey! <laughs> cut that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Editing. Uh, I think it is a red flag for him. Like, he didn't seem like he wanted to. I don't know. I guess he did apologize, but. He did apologize. <sighs> Maybe it was just grumpiness. It's a little weird. Maybe it was just hangry. Maybe it was just hangry. But True. I think he's just, he literally could have fixed that himself. He did. But he's angry. I think I. Divorce. <laughs> I don't think it's divorce. I don't think it's divorce. I think it's just like keep an eye on it. Yeah. Well, I I, I think he he I think he he effed up. Yes. He, for sure. I he, don't think she needed to apologize, but I'm glad that I, they were both yeah. like, okay, communication. That's yeah, what we need to. Yeah. I think like what came from it is is like yeah, it's good. They're they're open and communicate. Um, and they communicate with each other, and it sounds like they kind of have a uh, loving communication. Yeah. JC says divorce though, so JC maybe it's divorce for him. So maybe that there we have it. There we have. All right, divorce. John, what do you think? Red flag? Yeah, just a little weird. Yeah. Wait, what's your weird. red flag? So the red flag is basically his whole reaction to it's like driving twelve hours. You couldn't have picked up food. You couldn't have called. You couldn't have anything. I could I could see him like if he went there and he'd be like. Hey, you know, it would be it would be great if you pick something up just in case or something. But that's kind of that's like communication you kind of need to have. So I think yeah. it would be like, hey, like I'll be honest, like when you're ordering stuff, could you maybe like order a little extra just just in case if I'm yeah. not able to call you or reach out? Like since you're already making an order, is that cool? Like I feel like yeah. that could have been yeah. Um, I fun. I agree with Okie Dokie OP. Uh, great title uh, oh. uh driving for 12 hours can be tiring agree with just hangry i think he's just hangry i don't think it's like necessarily a red flag or like i don't see it as a red flag i just think he was in the wrong and he, I, yes yeah, i don't think it's wrong divorce sure. at all i just think he's in the wrong and i don't <laughs> think she had to apologize. we don't need a divorce we just need to throw him in jail for the rest of his life yeah yeah, yeah. that's yeah, what yeah. i'm saying yeah. Death row, honestly yeah. Yeah. yeah straight to jail um fun fact back in the About day with the quakers they believed spicy food made you more horny. Horny. Oh, yeah, like an aphrodisiac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what they would do is they would make these like pale like crackers, like graham crackers, and feed them to the kids so they would stop like masturbating and stuff like that. Really? Nice. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. spice makes you hot and horny. Hot and heavy, and hot like, and horny. They're like, well, I'm, I'm feeling the heat. Yeah. And baby Godzilla, I'm feeling the heat from that five bucks. Hey. Work. We'll catch up later. Also, Riley is a nerd. Facts. You're a nerd. Yeah, he's uh, turning hello, into <laughs> fight. <laughs> Coming back. <laughs> but uh, you know what we're going to come back to? What? This next story. Sophia, you got this one? Woo! Yeah. I got it. Ready? Let's okay. do it. Okay. Am I the a-hole for telling my husband I hate his most beloved hobby? Sad. Uh, Puzzle-headed idea 236 says, I'm sick of hearing about the NFL draft. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Riley likes you know what? Divorce. It. Divorce. <laughs> Done. For years, my husband was a casual fan, and I've been a pretty good sport about football season <laughs> sport. <laughs> sport. Huh? Uh, dominating our Sundays. However, this has changed drastically since COVID. Three years ago, he started watching this Brett Coleman guy, and he became obsessed with the draft. He hadn't talked this much about college football since he graduated years ago. He has this giant dry erase board in our bedroom. Oh, in our, all caps, bedroom. <laughs> Um, that he calls his big board. <laughs> <laughs> My big board. Um, it's ridiculous. <laughs> At first, I was supportive, and I let him rant and explain what the draft was all about, but I'm so sick of hearing about it. He raves about PFF like they're the great gospel, but good grief. He's always in his man cave evaluating players like he's an owner of a team. It feels like a fa uh, it feels like fantasy football year round, and oh it has God. absolutely wrecked our relationship. As he spends hours watching football plays and people <laughs> talk about football plays. The funny thing is, the board is in the bedroom. Like it's yeah. such a big part yeah. of its life. It's like, baby, baby, baby. Bedroom. Where, I, 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 I swear I'll thrust a little bit yeah. later, but yeah. let me let, yeah. <laughs> let me let me go. Wake to up, board. draft. Yeah. Go to sleep, <laughs> draft. Also, Gina, thanks for the five bucks. Are the other donation links are are, are they down? They are up. If you go to the, the description of this video, you can donate uh, directly at that link, and then mm -hmm. YouTube won't take a percentage. So That's more right. goes it helps to us. us out. If you yeah. guys want to test it out to see if it's working, let us know in the comment uh, in the chat. Yeah, yeah. See comments. if that link's working. Yep. Yeah. He can't even stop talking about it when we're in a public restaurant. That's horrible. Damn. He's constantly quizzing waiters and waitresses about their football knowledge, and it's embarrassing. <laughs> Heaven forbid he sees someone at our local park with a football shirt or hat. Oh, man. Oh, he becomes insufferable. We went to my niece's spring soccer game, and he went off with the other dads to talk about... Oh, and he went off with the other dads to talk about football. My goodness. And there are some relevant comments. Divorce. Yeah, no. yeah. No, I, I don't now necessarily think it's divorce, no. but yeah. the man is obsessive. Yeah, you tell him. Next thing you know, NFL. He's what obsessed about some girl what's that he sees in a grocery with? store. Yeah, what's, what's the line with what's, the NFL? What's the line of obsession? Uh, what's the line where it get, it, it encroaches and becomes? Uh, if he's not, if he doesn't care about you, and he's like mm. not even, you know, taking you out. Once he brings the board into the bedroom. Yeah. I think that's the line. That's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad. I think you could be like, hey, you need to stop or else. Yeah. Can yeah. we can we at least keep the game out of our sex like, life? Like tone it down. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. There's, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's so much role play you could do with that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come or, on. Or just oh, lean Travis into Kelsey, it. Oh, Travis Kelsey. I didn't know you were here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like you just like, like maybe just lean into it, you know? True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think so. I think that that's uh, what are him, some... that's adding. <laughs> it's gonna give him more fuel. Fire. Hut, hut, hike. He's more powerful. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> right down the middle. Right down the middle. <laughs> no. Uh -oh. Right, Riley. If Riley's like the most prepared. Like right. of, of all of oh my god. <laughs> oh man. All right. Anyway, relevant <laughs> comments. Uh, gotta know your CKN says not the a hole. It's okay to have something you're passionate about, but if it's obsessive to a point where there is nothing else you can talk about, that's a problem. It sounds like he's obsessing over football and impacting nearly all his relationships. God, even wait staff aren't exempt. Does he just randomly start talking <laughs> yeah. about it? Why does he feel the need to quiz people? Um, OP says, thank you. Some Something you said has has sat with me today. In fact, after reflecting, I suppose really the only relationship that has suffered due to this whole thing is me. <laughs> my father loves him. My brothers love talking to him. He's a sweet man, which is why I married him in the first place. I guess maybe I might be overreacting due to the fact that it is draft season. The draft is Thursday and I'm going to try and watch it with him. Uh, and then editor's note, uh, Brett Coleman shows up in the comments. What? The guy that wait. he was talking about. Oh, wait. my God. Brett Coleman, Coleman, as in a football player? As in a, a, a host of a, of a show about like yeah, an ESPN the, it was the show. show. Oh, yeah, okay. He started watching yeah. this guy, we'll Brett Google Coleman, it. who, um, yeah, I guess talks about the draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an internet personality. Okay, oh. so Brett Coleman oh. responds Brett Coleman to, the, the chat. The, to the Reddit yeah. chat post. 400K on YouTube. Sheesh. There we go. Okay. He's a big so, old YouTuber. Barian Fostate, who is Brett Coleman, says... This is my real... Oh, uh, hi. I am actually Brett Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's me. 
Uh, this is my real Reddit account. Please tell your husband that I say hi. And also, I'm sorry for ruining your marriage. <laughs> but seriously, though, please tell him I said hi and that I appreciate him. OP's going to leave his wife for Brett. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> OP says, hello, Brett. If this is really you, oh, if this really is you, it's a pleasure to meet you. Your community has been very kind to my husband, and I'm grateful for you giving my husband this joy. He doesn't have Reddit, but he was ecstatic to hear that you reached out. <laughs> Did she tell him why? Yeah. Um, I'm going to need to make a few of your world famous beverages this Thursday slash through Saturday, but no divorce is on the table right now. That's and so funny. Barry and Fostate says, You guys oh, sound like it's a love. It's him again. No, I know. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't know. Barry Sorry, and Fostate is, is Brett. Yeah. yeah. Uh, says, You guys sound like a lovely couple. Let me know. Oh, let him know if he's ever near LA to hit me up. And we'll go grab a beer and talk football to no give him a night off. No way. Uh, or if he's near KC this week, I'll be there for the draft. Bro, you should just fly to Kansas fly. City to like fly hang there. out with them. Yeah. Guys. But is that encouraging it? Yeah. And is this marketing? Damn is it. it. No. Oh. No. I don't think it's NFL marketing. Nah, I don't know. Really. NFL. Could it be? Brett Coleman. Brett Coleman. Brett Coleman. Brett Coleman. Yeah. He tricked us. Add him in the chat right now. Yeah, yeah. Where we are you, need Brett? the answers, okay? I know you're here. Wait, there's one, there's one, there's one. Get this him on the a stream. Small update. So Opie says, well, thank you. That's a very kind gesture. We're going to watch the first round together, so we'll see how that goes. And then there is a little baby update. Okay, Ooh. let's go to the baby update. My husband and I have had some good conversation and conversations and he's willing to compromise with me. I do think I may have overreacted slightly. I'm going to get him some recording equipment for his birthday so he can start a YouTube channel, which we both agree would be a good outlet. Thank you to everyone for your comments. We'll see how this goes after the draft is over Saturday. Okay. Getting him a YouTube channel is like getting your, like, I don't know, your dog, like a chew toy. Is that what you're saying this is? Yeah, she's like, you got to let out some energy. <laughs> yeah, 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 run around for a little yeah. bit with your little YouTube community. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like that's probably, yeah. but probably good for him. And it's, he seems knowledgeable. Yeah. You know? But does that further deepen him in the rabbit hole to I never? Know. I think it may Only just give him more of an outlet to talk yeah. about it. So he doesn't, he doesn't have to talk, talk about, about it with her. With, yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, hippie mommy says, I just straight tell my husband he is boring. <laughs> he used to come home and tell me about his electrical classes. I just couldn't after we, I explained, I tried, but I couldn't anymore. Then I gave him a daily time limit. So funny. <laughs> you have what, 10 minutes. Yeah. Go. Yeah, yeah. I tell Sam about like musicals and he's like, I sing along to your musicals. No, you don't. Uh, whenever I see someone That's less the fortunate only than song I, Sam then knows. let's face it, who isn't less fortunate than I? How long did I? I, I ran That's it with because, you for ages. That's because I had an audition years and years ago, tender, and so now Sam has be. memorized popular. When someone needs a makeover, I simply have to take over. I know, okay, I know. All. all right, well, but I think <laughs> as, the point is, I know it because I'm interested in your interests, Sophia. <laughs> like Dummies in the chat day. for Sam's uh, musical. Rendition yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. It Put some respect on my musical yeah. knowledge. Name Put respect on musicals. my name. Talk. Uh, Talk. Okay. Uh, Book of Mormon. Okay. Actually, name 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Wait, actually, go back. Name okay. six. Okay. Uh, 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 Shakespeare in Love. Uh, uh, musical? Uh, all right. Uh, Book of Mormon. Uh, Hamilton. Yeah. Uh, 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 Macbeth. That's uh, not a musical. Oh, fuck. Um, uh, 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 oh, uh, The Beatles musical. Um, the the one that we watched about the, the Tina Turner musical, um, the Green Day musical, uh, uh, and and uh, fuck. That's good. That's a good amount. I got one more. I definitely got one you more. Literally I got didn't one more. even name the musical that you sang. The I song did. From. All you need is what? Oh, oh. I said I said Wicked. Oh, oh. Wicked. I didn't count it. Wicked. There we go. Okay. I'll right. give you it. Boom. All right. There were so many other ones you could have gone to. But you know what I. Uh, oh, 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 uh, 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 Oliver Twist. Okay. It is. It high, is. School. Yeah. high school. High school musical, the musical. <laughs> there we go. All right. But you know what we should, face. You know what we should uh, always <laughs> say out loud? This what? next story. This next story. 343. Wait a 343. Right, just right. So yes, this Literally, is. Oh, chat, put what your favorite, your favorite musical? musical is. My Jesus favorite Christ. musical. Superstar. Actually, I don't know. What is your favorite musical? Like, off the ha top, the dome 
It's yeah. Legally Blonde. I love yeah. Legally Blonde. Um, but I also love Starkin. Oh, wait. We got some, we got some donations here. Donations. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, hey, Aoki, okay, thanks for the $3. Woo-hoo! We appreciate you. And uh, a Ferio? Oh, no. I was the last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. was the last okay. one. Um, okay, shall we go into this next story, y'all? Let's do it. Also, we have 546 people across our platforms, uh, which is nearing our all-time high of 600. So let's uh, let's see if let's we get, get to there. 600 people. Call like spam your the chat. Mom. Call your brother. call your mom. Yep. Send this call link to Brett three Coleman. friends. <laughs> call Brett. Um, like this stream. Spam the chat. Let's get more people in here. Break 600. And let's get into this. So, fiance caught messaging a married woman during his bachelor party. Uh oh. Red flag or not? Uh, I hope your marriage is going well, and I wish you the best. (laughs) Nats. This comes from Puzzle Headed Ear 3942. I need advice. My fiance, female 26, my, sorry, my my female 26, (laughs) fiance, male 27, and I are getting married this May. He had his bachelor party over the weekend, and, well, last night I was doing his eyebrows, and he fell asleep. That's fun. Cute. He was snoring something hilarious, but I didn't have my phone to take a video, so I picked up his phone. Uh oh. Just innocent little phone. Yeah, pickup. that was innocent. This is uh innocent this doesn't go into my, my golden rules. While taking the video, a message popped up. <sighs> I wish I was joking. It was from a married woman with kids he used to work with. The text read, So glad to have been part of your bachelor party, heart. Okay. It could be innocent. Is it innocent? Innocent or not? Put it in the chat. Let us know right now. Also, shout out to Jesse, who I think just got gifted five memberships. Jesse! Jesse, come on. You're the membership queen or king. Hearts, put a heart in the chat for Jesse. How about yeah. that? Or in a leader heart yeah. in general. General leader. I was confused because it was an all guys event in the middle of the woods. I admit curiosity uh, got the better of me. What? And I opened it. My mistake. Is it a mistake? What do you think? I don't think it's a mistake. At that point. At that point. There's you, grounds. you know, the door's open. You got to walk in. Yep. But I generally didn't think I would find what I did. Oh, oh. no. They had been flirting uh, really heavily. Uh, the night of his bachelor party, he was egging on her to come, saying he was sad she wasn't there. She in turn said things, the missus wouldn't like it if I was there. Uh, I would have stolen you away from the boys. They wouldn't have liked that now, would they? To which he responded, would you now? She then said, our last shot, to which he liked with a heart. <sighs> yep, not innocent. The smoking heart. Uh, smoking gun. Incriminating? Yes. Court of the Brave says, okay, not a stripper. Ballroom Blitz Kid 1994 says, yo. Uh. And yeah, Pinky D. Da says, bra. Yeah. Bruh. Yeah. Uh, not good. No, not good fairly no, 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 no. And there are some like big juicy updates. We're still on the first update. I told him immediately what I saw and apologized for snooping. However, I was really uncomfortable with this. How is that not a smoking gun? Even if he was absolutely shit faced, I still did not think it was okay. No. He denied it being flirty for a while, what? saying that the last shot thing was in reference to alcohol. But given the context, I don't think it was. He has since apologized for disrespecting our relationship and is asking me for another chance. No. What do I do? I love him so much. I still do, but I am hurt. He says he's never met up with her and that they just started flirting out of the blue. But that makes no sense to me. Any advice? Should I call off the wedding? And there are some relevant comments and some thick, juicy updates. But what do we think? Do we think <sighs> this off. is a red flag? Is yes. it worth having a pre divorce as Kiba says? A says. pre-vorce. A pre-vorce. Ooh, pre-vorce. A pre-vorce. All right. Second chance or nah is all. Well, actually, first question. Yep. Is this flirting? Yes. Second question. Second choice or not? Nah? I agree. Flirting, uh, flirting on number one. So yeah. Why is it one. flirting? Why is it flirting? Because it was flirty. It's a freaking like, oh man, the missus wouldn't like it if I came over. Yeah. yeah. Heart. No. Hearts. Yeah. That's or too like much. we have one last shot, obviously in reference to like them getting yeah, married. Why, w- why would that be referring to alcohol? We have one last, last shot. shot. He said, and he said, uh, you should come over, right? Like yeah. she even there 
physically yeah. at that moment or not. Yeah. So we're getting hella red flags in the chat. Yeah. And I wouldn't say shot. second chance if his response was like, I so messed up. I need to change everything. Tell me what to, I don't know. Like just showing some sort of sincerity and yeah. like, I don't know. Would you, okay. All right. Question here. Question here. Uh, do you think so? So do you think also Alyssa Sinbaldi, Sophia, you should see Hades Town. So good. Hades Town. Hades Town. Is that the um, one you were showing me? No. Oh, okay. What's that <laughs> one? What? The one with about like heaven and hell. Oh, no, no, no. That's uh, Has Been Hotel. Has Been Hotel. Hades no. Town. I have listened to the soundtrack. Um, I've been wanting to see it, but. Sure. Yeah. And for Mama Simmer, <laughs> thanks for the five bucks, which I could send more for how entertaining you are. I watch while cleaning my rabbit rescue room. That's awesome. That's so cute. Um, so, all right. I think, um, okay. So, so you said, give a second chance. I said I would have, if his response was good, Right. but would you still, would you call off the wedding or would you go through with the wedding and give a second chance? I think call off the wedding to like, reevaluate. Okay, let's go. To, yeah. Reevaluate. Yeah, not let's necessarily go break up, but yes. call off the wedding, postpone. Like, yo, we need, we need to figure this out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So technically in that sense, a second chance, but yes. calling off the wedding and Okay. I mean, maybe this, maybe I'm being too far here and like, let me know if I am, but this, I, I can't imagine this is the first time. Yeah. Cause like the chances of you catching someone on the first time is maybe fairly low. The yeah. iceberg goes super deep. sloppy. I, iceberg I, I, goes yeah. Deep. Iceberg goes deep. You're just seeing the tip. Yeah. And maybe is. she is too. Yep. And it's pink. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I want to talk about right. Hades Town again. <laughs> JC says if she gives him a slap on the wrist and goes on, he will see he can do stuff like this with zero consequences. Nerdy Glasses says, nah, no chance. Have some self respect. Uh, Meredith Brooking Green, when you're alive, seems so random. Yeah, we are random. Aoki says, just the tip. Grace W says, yeah, no. Tracy Eisen says, lol. JC, what? Ellie Ethereal, poor Sophia. Yeah, yeah. Sophia. <laughs> it's, tough it's, it's tough, tough out, out here. here. Yeah. It's tough out here. It's tough out here. Thoughts and prayers. Send your <laughs> thoughts and go. prayers to your girl, Sophia. Anyway, shall we get into some relevant comments? Yeah. So, Charming Big 2092 says, An honest, loyal man wouldn't be texting another woman and sending flirty messages, especially not begging her to come to his party. Ew. The only person he should have been texting and begging was you. True. I think you need to blow this woman's life up. Wait. Whoa. Wait. What? This woman? Text screenshots to her husband and let Whoa. the dominoes fall. Whoa. Then take a couple of days away from him, not as a punishment or stonewalling him, but to really think about what you want. And he needs to figure out what his priorities are. Is it you or is it sneaky, flirty text to another woman? Because what he does constitutes cheating. Wow. Whoa. I mean, that's an interesting question that we should. I mean, should yeah, she tell the other the, yeah. the, her husband? Mm. I don't mm -hmm. know. I think that's messy. I think he that's deserves tough. to know. Yeah, that's a tough one. But I feel like it would, you know, she hasn't even sorted out her own things right now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think, okay, so like, it does It does feel a little messy. Yeah. It feels a little messy. Yeah, I, I would agree. And it's like, also, I don't like, I don't like that it's like, um, I'm going after like the woman immediately yeah. like go after your partner yeah, yeah. like yes, like, yes. like 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 really like to talk to your partner first i don't think yeah. the 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 first instinct should be go to, to go for a i revenge. hate it when the person's like goes over how could you go to my man blah, 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 blah. it's like what about yeah. the man what yeah what about the that man in the relationship Bro, with? or the woman whoever yeah. it is yeah cassandra perry says i mean both of them are at fault for hurting op is not just on the husband yeah. because it's a fair partner new and the mistress husband deserves the truth that's a good point that's no, a good point absolutely i think but i think what the point that we're making is that the like op and fiance are in a relationship and yeah. therefore it's 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 uh, on him to set boundaries and be like i i'm not flirting with other women because yeah. they're in a relationship and also i think that should be addressed first yeah before you know doing anything else yes no for now maybe if it yes. escalates more and like it gets deeper but i don't think you should do it though but op point. responds the bad thing is they got close because of my cancer Oh, which if uh, y'all have read the show or been been on the show, uh, cancer and pregnancy are the two times that people are most mm. likely Why? to cheat. 
I recently battled a very rare stage three cancer. In the earlier text, she's comforting him about my diagnosis. The most recent text I saw was from a day ago, so they were still texting even after his bachelor party. And miserable caregiver 64, this is another comer, says, the universe is literally telling you not to marry this man. You were supposed to pick up that phone at that exact time you did and saw, see that message. I would still leave the man who I thought was my soulmate if I saw messages like that. He has cheated the second he texted her. He was literally thinking about her in that moment and messaged without a second thought about you. They have definitely done the deed, but even him messaging, I'd say bye. And OP responds, the really shitty thing, I looked at the timestamps. While he was texting her this, he was texting me about us having babies and how much he loves me. Ah! Uh, is this a red flag? Men can be stinky. Is yeah, this a red flag? Yeah. Hold on. Yep. I agree yeah, with this. I There's a little a, stinkiness. I don't, I don't have a red flag. Joanna Almquithis says he's for the streets. JC yep. says that made my he's stomach sick. Cannot believe that. Also, we're at 583 people between Woo! the streams. We're so close. We're so close to the top. Um, yeah, and 52 people on Facebook, 522 people on OKOP and YouTube, and eight, nine people on Twitch. Thank you all uh, for being here. Uh, we appreciate you. And 30 people on TikTok. Don't Whoa. forget about TikTok. Let's go. Um, but yeah, for the streets, there is one more commenter before we get into the update. Oh. But I hope you're, this comes from a deleted commenter. I hope you're healing well. Then getting close while you are sick is a major red flag. Men are statistically more likely to leave and or cheat on their wives when they're sick, which is kind of what we were saying. You do not deserve a man who uses your illness to cozy up to another woman and then start begging her to come to him while he is drunk. He is for the streets, and I hope you realize you deserve so much better. And OP responds, thank you. It's been a very rough road. He said during the confrontation that she was a friend to me because she kept in touch with him throughout the treatment tiny violin playing i've never met this woman this all feels so wrong mm. i am heartbroken and sophia john chat there is a juicy juicy thick double update oh uh coming up but what are we feeling are we saying divorce right now or not i'm saying pre-divorce pre-divorce yeah pre-divorce pre yeah. no divorce now go to like therapy and continue it because I, I'm like, I have suspicions that this is all bad and I just need to confirm that. Yeah. Like that's what I, that, I would go I would to say. therapy for yourself and put the relationship. I think put the yeah, relationship I think on, put hold. on hold, yeah, yeah, put yeah. it on hold. Yeah. I think take a break. Yeah. Definitely take a break. Cause you need, you need time to, to, to evaluate. Yes. Evaluate it. And for everyone coming into the chat, uh, if you haven't already liked this live stream, come on. What are Do you doing? Guys. If you haven't subscribed, Do double it. come on. And also, if you haven't commented in the chat, comment because if you spam the chat, then more people will will come in and will like uh, be the biggest chat here on YouTube. Show your boy some love. Show your boy some love. Tell me your least favorite musical. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Or uh, maybe we could just do like, "Where are you in the world?" Chat too. Your least favorite musical, where and where are you in the world? world? Put 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 your cities in. down in the chat. That was the wrong, the wrong tune. But where let's get in to the update. Let's do it. Okay. Um, and Danielle Canardo says, "Take him for everything he's got." Uh, Cassandra Lay, at the very least, don't marry this man. And Jada Allen says, "I'm so glad I made it. We're glad you made it too." So let's get in to the update. First of all. Thank you to everyone for all of the support. It has been a rough 24 hours. I did not think this would blow up the way it did. Unfortunately, this is very real. And even more upsetting, this is not the first incident that has made me wonder. Back when, oh no, okay, so there were signs before. Mm -hmm. Back when I was in recovery after treatment, I was finally able to be intimate with him. I was not in remission yet, but my doctor gave me the go ahead. I wanted to, it's very important to me in our relationship. And whenever I would initiate, he would push it off. He said, say, hey, let's try again next week, et cetera. After a long discussion, after a long discussion, he asked to sleep with other people. That was that was Dude. the minor sign. That was, How is wow. that? OP is too OP, understanding to the no. point of detriment. Yeah. No, no, no. This is, this is this is perverse. Yeah, this is. I love that. That term is great. Promorse. Also, Jesse Lanny, thanks for the five Woo. bucks. I can't find the little sillies, but I love listening to y'all while I'm at work. There's a little join button on our channel if you want to be part of our private community to see these streams after 
uh, they finish up. Uh, we have like members only streams. And also, thanks for the donation. Uh, we're 56% completed to a three hour stream. So if we get to that, uh, we will do another hour. We'll so, see. But for right now, we have 20 minutes left. We do. At the very least. So Woo. I was shell shocked and I decided to move past it. But now, seeing these messages, I know that was not random. The fact that during the confrontation, he asked for a second chance, stating he'd be more faithful and more loyal is enough. Cancer drastically changes your view of yourself for so long. I thought I was lucky to have someone who stood by me. Now, I know that's the bare minimum. Mm. Currently, yeah. I'm at my parents taking some time away. It's over. When I get back, I will be ending it. I will post again to let everyone know how it goes. Thank you, Reddit. And also, we just broke our personal record. We have 600 people Woo! between all of our different platforms. So thank you to everyone coming in. The TLDR of this story. So basically, uh, on the bachelor party for this um, this like trip. So that's this guy, this guy and girl. About to get married. OP's getting get married to this guy. He's going on a bachelor party. And then um, she finds, uh, as he came, come, came back from the bachelor party, that he's been texting this woman that, like, basically flirting with her. And mm -hmm. she thinks, potentially, they have been cheating this entire time. Yeah. And so she's wondering, should she still get married to this guy that, he's, that potentially he's, he's been cheating the whole time? And now it's, it's over. There is a final update. Oh, so she, OP has said, this is what I'm going to do. Potentially. 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 Well, Potentially. We can only hope she goes through. Okay, okay. And also, Simone Vason, thanks from for the 646 euros. Hello to from the Netherlands. OP needs to break up with him. Yeah, I think we agree. OP definitely needs to break up with him. And Strawberry, thanks for the 10 gifted uh, community members to our little sillies. Whoa, let's, let's go. go. Let's Thank pick. you, Strawberry. Awesome. Get more little sillies in the little silly community. That's right. So let's get into this final update. Let's do it. Um, and I totally would have done that if it had not just closed out of this little thing. I'm scrolling back in. Okay. So final update. Here's the link to my last update. I'm new to Reddit, so hopefully this won't get deleted. These past few weeks have been the most challenging in my life thus far. This will be a long update. So Morgan, friends and Reddit, bear with me. And Erica Ashley, thanks for bearing with us and donating 20 Woo! bucks. Woo! We appreciate you. Love you. Let's keep this stream going. I broke up with him. So she oh, did it. yeah. She Done. did it. I broke Give up with him. The wedding is officially off and I am single for the first time in years. Wow. Good for you. First time in years. When I broke up with him, it was so hard. Not only was he expecting it to be good, no. but like good again, I guess. No, but I also, not only was he expecting it. Oh, oh, not only was he expecting it. Oh, good. we oh. had something unexpected. Wow, oh my wow, God. Wow, wow, Izzy, wow. thanks Izzy for the 200 bucks. The blonde, the blonde one, $20. 20. Thank you and so much. Grave fried trick in 10 bucks. Love you guys. I watch you every day when I get ready. For the day, OP's man doesn't deserve her. He deserves the pits. Wow. The pits. The, the pits. pits. Also, shout out to Izzy. Yes. For scaring Izzy the in the comments. And then Ireland Mahoney. Ireland Mahoney. Five Woo! bucks. You're the, the best, best from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Okay, Let's I think go. we are. We're, we're getting close to we're getting there, right? to a, a three hour we're stream. We're about to refresh. Let's see. Yeah, right. See Riley's updating it. But shout out Izzy taking the mantle from Sleepless right now. Yeah, come Let's on. Let's go. Okay. So I broke up with him. The wedding is officially off and I am single for the first time this years. So not only was he expecting it, good, but I also again asked why. He said that over these past five years, he's always been in the mindset of the grass is greener in regards to our relationship. And now that he doesn't have me, he says his life is incomplete without me. Oh, well. Well, you should have fucking appreciated her, her shouldn't well, you? When you had that? her. What was that one quote? It was like, Grass is always greener on the other side if you're not watering. If oh you yeah, tend to. The, the grass is the grass is greener where you water it. Yeah, yeah. Which comes from a Reddit user who cheated on his wife. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> you got to cheat to know where, where the green grass is. Yeah. I yeah. guess. Yeah, but yeah. doesn't mean you got access to that grass. Is. Exactly. You know? I've heard no. of this ninety ten percent rule, where basically like people that do cheat. Their partner makes up 90% of what they need, but they keep looking at other people as that 10%. Oh. Then they leave the 90% to get the 10%, and they're like, oh, my gosh. Huh. I now left all this. Also, Jesse. Oh, my oh. gosh. Whoa! Jesse! Jesse! 
168. Okay, okay, and let's is go. It, is it Woo! the... Yeah. Woo! All right. Three-hour stream unlocked. Guys, We're fucking wow. moving and grooving. Jesse, Jesse. Izzy, everyone. All right, Thank we you. appreciate you. Wow. I'm gonna need my matcha soon. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like we're buckling up for a, a like a long stream. I think especially if we go, if we're gonna go for another hour, and like some of the big hitters come in, uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We also have plans tonight. We I shouldn't tell you. But, oh no, uh, no, no, no. We do have. A, I we're going to laser tag. We I'm are. Sorry, we are. Guys. They're going like to laser tag. Uh -huh. plans yeah, canceled. Plans. Uh, going you're to reading to us. <laughs> I need shooting to down go. your plans. But yeah, we're all supposed to go to like we're all playing laser tag together. Yeah, today. I've made yeah. plans so, for everyone. Yeah, so Pia, so Pia put these tag. together. She crushed it. So <laughs> quit um, making plans. And now that he does not have me, he says his life is incomplete without me. Also, for everyone tuning into the stream Ooh, right now. So basically what's happened so far is OP found out that her husband on his bachelor party was texting another woman and flirting heavily. Um, and she was like, should I like, you know, pre-divorce him? Should I, should I, should I divorce him? Is the, and is she just decided that she is, she's going to cut it off. And also that he was potentially cheating while she had cancer mm -hmm. while she had fucking cancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bad, bad. Very. So let's keep going to me. I do not think he really knew what he wanted, which makes it even more painful that I knew exactly what I wanted and needed. He did fulfill most of my expectations for our relationship. I will give him that. He proposed, for Christ's sake, apparently with wanting other people in mind. A true gut punch. Most nights, I cry myself to sleep. It's been very confusing. Oh. Yeah. I, I, like, I guess to like everyone who maybe has gone through something similar, like what kind of, what like helps you get through something like this? Yeah. Like what do you need for this? Um, Laser death. Yeah, the Sierra gym. says cheating on your sick partner is disgusting. Riley says the gym. Yeah, the Iron yeah. Church. Ah, the protein. Nerdy glasses. Paul praise the protein. Yeah, the protein god. <laughs> Jay says screw this guy. Nerdy glasses says some men. I swear. Tracy Davis says laser tag sounds like so much fun right now. Yeah, we're really excited. We're about to fucking demolish some seven year olds. Yeah, I've only played laser tag once when I was seven. And I, we had to lie and tell them that I was eight because you have to be eight years old or old. Forgery, dude. Yeah. I'm goodness. so excited. I'm going to just like demolish. It's going to be great. These oh, kids. I yeah. thought you were about to be like, I'm going to tell so many people I'm eight. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm going to let me in. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I contacted his friends who were at the bachelor party and even provided them with the screenshots I took. Maybe a little petty, but I wanted them all to know the truth of what happened. Also, someone said they don't believe that we're going to laser tag. I have the receipts, so I will yeah, show you. It's fake no, news. I pl I've been yeah. planning this because I wanted to do some. I wanted to do either trampoline park or laser tag. Okay. Yeah. And and also, wait. There, wait can you tell them about the conspiracy theory about Sophia and Riley? About about theory? how you uh, how you uh, how you actually treat us when the cameras are off. Oh, <laughs> wait. The comment. Yeah. Oh my good. Should I read it? Ultrazone laser I tag. I can See? find it. Wait, mm -hmm. why don't you Photoshopped. The... <laughs> Photoshopped. Wait, should, I, you should I read the it? address? <laughs> what? It's the address of, of the Ultrazone place. Yeah, well, they're going we're not... to... Wait, they don't know where we're going. <laughs> 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 There's going to be 50 people like, we're here. Yeah, everyone comes oh, to laser tag. We're going to beat you. Yeah, yeah, they just destroy us. Wait, we just got another don't know from our um, PayPal. One Wait, second. Oh. Can you oh, find oh. the comment? Let me what? pull it up. I, I couldn't find the comment, but you can just oh, tell them. I know where it is. Yo. Also, Gina, thanks for the Whoa. 50 bucks from Florida with my love. Sorry, it took a minute. Gina, thank you so much. Big we Florida appreciate love. it. Let's yeah. go. Okay. Also, Jessica Lopez, thanks for joining I our little it. sillies. Yeah, Mega My Own. It was Mega My Own's comment. That was my, that was her comment. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah wait. Okay, read it. It's pretty funny. This is my favorite We're comment. We're going to get back to the story in a second, but wait, slight this, detour. Wait, That's Mega My Own. Yeah, there right, 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 We I love that. I'm we were all right talking now. about it the other day. I was telling everyone. <laughs> I was. It was so funny. Okay, I'm gonna read it. Wait, actually, you. wait. Let's. We're almost with the story. We're let's not gonna it. read it for you. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna save it till the okay. end. We're gonna save it till okay, the story end. Story comment. Okay. Okay. Story comment. Yeah. So, Thank you I contacted his friends who were at the bachelor party and even provided them with the screenshots I took. Maybe a little petty, but I wanted them all to know the truth of what happened. Most are very good guys and are pissed as hell at him. Some are not even talking to him. Apparently, he was with them the whole night, but who am I to truly know? I also do not want to think about it too hard, nor should I have to. I have definitely reached the point where I am angry. 
Someone I loved betrayed not only me, but our relationship in such an easy fashion. He would have never told me if I had not found the messages. To make matters worse, they are still messaging even after the uber flirtatious mistake so he can kiss my booty behind. They're still messaging? They're still messaging as oh he's saying, God. I want to be with you. You liar. Jesus. As he, that is fucking Stinky insane. men. Wow. Stinky, stinky men. Wow. Also, quick question. Do you think that she should now tell the yeah. other woman's husband? Mm. Mm. Because it's still going on. Right. Still going on. Yeah, maybe. What we think. Let's see. So, um, is it wrong? I am mad that it appears not many people are reading him the riot act. What's the riot act? I did not send a message to the woman's husband. I stalked Facebook, however, and it says she is single. On my end, personally, I have accepted the, a new job as a barn and boarding manager for horses. That's kind of cool. Sick. Morgan Horse Girls Unite. This allowed me to have a place <laughs> to move and get away. I found peace here with my horses. This is wow, that's super Aww. awesome. Love On that. February thirteenth, I made it my one year of in remission mark from cancer. I am healing finally, although I'm heartbroken and angry. Being here with my animals and with the comfort of my friends has allowed me to start finding peace. Yeah, February thirteenth, you said? Yeah. Damn. Day before Valentine's Day. Oh, that's, that's a little. Oh, I didn't even think about that's that. A tough. Ouch. See, yeah. you can tell John's in a relationship. That's right. Yeah, man knows where Valentine's Day is mm. on lock. <laughs> yeah, no one else do. does. Yeah. <laughs> also, for everyone who just joined the stream, this is our biggest stream ever yeah, in where terms are we at of now? concurrence. Six hundred twenty-six oh, people, oh not including the people on TikTok. Um, and TLDR of where we are right now. So basically. OP was uh, had her husband go on this bachelor party trip. He came back and she found on his phone that he was flirting with another woman and was deciding whether or not to break up with him. And she decided to uh, pre-divorce him. Pre-divorce. Pre-divorce pre him. Um, and now she started a little horse horse place. Horse yeah. place. And if, also, if you haven't liked this stream or if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Do it. I haven't subscribed. Don't Do make me cry. I, Don't you make me won't. Cry. Yeah. You won't do you won't it. Do you it. won't. Yeah. You won't. Yeah. I, I Double bet, dog I, dare you. But you can't. Even, I bet you can't even find it. <laughs> Whoa. You find that subscribe button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Try. Try to find it. Try to find my button that makes me go ooh. Uh, not <laughs> just in this shit situation, but given everything I have been through <laughs> mentally and physically this past year, it's time I focus on loving myself. Thank you to everyone for the love, support, encouragement. You all helped me to be the badass woman I needed to be. Much love. Stay healthy. And there are some relevant comments. So Sikonat says, horses will be healing. It seems the real cancer was your ex-fiance. Oh. I wish you the best and hope you find someone who loves and values you. And the scum that was your ex gets shitted on. I'm petty though. So I'd leave a public comment on her Facebook that all her friends commented on. So they'll see it and say that you know she was having an affair with him and he is all hers now Yo. hope he responds she must be a really gross person to use my diagnosis to get close to him apparently she initiated first contact Ugh. never met her in my life and kobold d says have you blocked him everywhere OP says i'm starting to everything happened so fast that i had so many things going on at once from moving then starting a new job canceling oh vendors etc so wow. so it does look like things are kind of Wrapping looking up. up, yeah. Wow, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's like long to like obviously it sucks yeah. to go through, find out that he was doing all this BS, but in the long term, OP will now be able to focus on herself, be with her horsies, yeah, and horses grow. Yeah, yeah. agreed. JC says, Yes, public con comment. JC says, I'm here for the pettiness. Put him on blast. Cassandra Perry says, Stay petty. Stay petty. Nikki Orndorff says, Riley, where's the sign? I'm oh, assuming I, it's... I had to give it to John because I was getting oh the no sex sign. I know because oh, I, I couldn't find it. I wanted to hold it up. I feel um, like you should be the arbiter of the no sex I sign. I should. Yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. you can have it. Yeah. Oh, there I we go. It. Here's your no sex I sign. I bequeath you, the, power. you the sign. Thank you. Christine Cherry it... says, "Oh my God, Sam, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Gonna Not really. Um, but oh. should we read that? Uh, yes. Should we read that comment? But yeah, I think like, I think OP made all the right decisions. Like, if you catch someone flirting with someone else. Right before you're about to get married, Don't while get you're talking married. about having babies with them, yeah. like one, it's probably not the first time they're doing it. Yep. And two, divorce, divorce. pre divorce, pre divorce, pre divorce. But um, uh, we were talking about doing laser tag, and someone was like, "I don't believe you." And 
uh, Mega My Own, one of our our beautiful subscribers. Amazing. You better be subscribed. Oh, Mega he actually, he has a pretty crazy. Okay, story time. Story time. If we want to interview him. Oh, maybe oh. we could do. Could we do an interview right now? We could. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, Mega My Own. Do you want us to call you? Let us know in yeah, the chat. I'll text him. I'll text. Yeah, him. we'll te we'll text you. We'll do a little call in. Uh, well, anyway, Mega Mega Me Mega My Own. Uh, they said. This is their comment from uh, my best friend's in love with me, but I'm engaged where Riley and I were talking. We're joking about how like we don't talk to each other off stream, <laughs> which is yeah. not true. But so Megan my own says, Sophia saying she's not friends with her coworkers was so effing funny and petty. And then Riley saying she doesn't talk to him outside of the podcast just had me thinking it was like some sitcom shit. As soon as the director of the OKOP episodes yells cut, it's just like Riley. Hey, Sophia, me and some of the production crew are getting drinks. Do you want to come get Sophia dismissively immediately scrolling TikTok, not even looking at Riley? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll see you for that event. Uh, have your have your assistant get in touch with mine <laughs> and tell Sam to stop calling me his younger sister outside of when we're shooting episodes. I don't need people believing that <laughs> Riley. Aren't you actually siblings, Sophia? Yeah, I just don't need people believing that, though. <laughs> <laughs> wow i don't know oh, why yeah. i give myself an accent but yeah, i think it's just it's pretty it funny better. it's pretty funny um stella <laughs> davis i will never apologize to john he For needs what? to apologize to me <laughs> yeah. Dude, oh, yeah 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 you what remember the prank you guys pulled i was fucking looking at the comments being like what the fuck did i do now <laughs> what was it you guys don't remember you don't remember the it prank was, it was weeks ago it was weeks ago you guys were uh, like all right everyone yeah. in the comments say that we're beefing so sam thinks oh he did yeah, 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 pulled yeah. Through. <laughs> guys pulled through. i literally like i commented on someone's where it's like wait what did i do <laughs> <laughs> i totally forgot about that me too dude he's he's ready if we want to call him yeah yeah oh. let's let's call him let's call make him. it my own yeah so we're gonna do a call in we're gonna do yep. uh one minute of so we're gonna tell you so they're gonna tell us their one sentence descriptor they're going to give us a uh one minute storytelling time and then we're gonna do like one minute of discussion about it that's right and hello green eyes thanks for the 10 bucks Dunk. you guys have been part of my daily routine thanks for what you guys do well thank hey. you for what you do by watching us every this day. is a part of our daily routine too. That's right. <laughs> yeah this is a part actually, of our daily routine, no. actually <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, let's do here it. Here we go. Ooh. Mega my own. Mega my own. Mega and my I think own. you're going next, right, John? I believe Mega so. Mega my own. Christina Pata, we thank you. Thanks for the two thank bucks. Thank you for the two bucks. Hello? Mega, Mega my own. own. What is goody? <laughs> How you guys doing? Doing Good. great. How are you? Where are you calling us from? Uh, I'm currently in PA. Oh, cool. Pennsylvania. But yeah, I travel Let's all go. over the country. So like, yeah. If I ever saw you guys doing like the pool boy thing again, I would definitely stop by. Oh, let's go. <laughs> we're, we we we're gonna do some stuff like out in the open very soon. Yes. So we're we're it's excited coming. to start. It's 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 coming it's for coming. sure. It's coming. So Megan, my own. What is your one sentence descriptor of the story? All right. Let's uh let's get that. <laughs> um, I go ahead. I'll Am I the asshole for outing my ex-girlfriend to her mom after I caught her cheating? <gasps> Whoa. Oh, going tattling straight to the mom. I kind of love it. I kind of love it. <laughs> All right. All right. Give us the breakdown. Yeah, give what us is the it? breakdown. Oh, my God. There's so much fucking drama with that. <laughs> um, so I'll try and give like a brief backstory. Okay. Um, she was abusive as hell. She used to hit me. Oh my she used God. to oh God. even go ahead and be like, oh, if you ever hit me back, I'll call the cops and they'll believe me because I'm a girl. And I'm like, what Ugh. the hell? Gross. I felt like I was with Satan. <laughs> oh, my God. And yeah, this is years ago. Did like, you think I about leaving in that I moment? Heard... What was that? Did you think about leaving in that moment? Honestly, it's like one of those things where you're – more nostalgic about the good times than like yeah. pessimistic about the bad times. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It got so bad where her younger brother, who looks at me like an older brother, one day came up to me like in the middle of the night while we were talking, and he's like, "Why don't you just leave her? She treats you like crap." Wow. wow. When, when the, the brother, brother yeah. says that, it. that's like that's a new level. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, so anyway, how did you actually catch her? Day, so anyway, one day after. Thanksgiving, I had to work on Black Friday, so I didn't go over to her house. So on Black Friday, I go ahead and 
I'm working, and it's like 6, yeah. 7 o'clock at night, and I get a call from her. So I'm like, all right. Okay. Uh, I answer the call, and I'm like, hey, what's up? And she's like, we got to talk. And I'm like, okay. And? Okay. And she's like, we should break up. And mind you, in my head, I was kind of already getting to that point. So I'm like, all right, that's fine. Yeah. And she is. You're like, thank God. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) She had started acting weird for like months on end, just being like more like pulling back and everything and like being as crazy as it sounds more abusive. Oh my God. (laughs) So she goes ahead and she's like, we need to break up. And I'm like, all right then. And. I'm like, why? And she's like, I just, you know, think we've been fighting a lot lately. So I just outright asked her, I'm like, is there someone else? <gasps> and she initially says yes. Oh, what? Wait, like, she's oh, like, okay. yes, immediately? Hold on. It gets even dumber. <laughs> okay. So she goes ahead and she's like, yes. And I'm like, oh, really? Uh, who is it? And she goes, no, I lied. What? What? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? I mean, she. But it, did did, did you find out she was like a compulsive liar or something? Oh my god, she was yeah. such a fucking compulsive liar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. It was, easier for, it was as easy for her to lie as it was for her to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my she, god. Like, she used to ride horses, and one time I remember She's we were horses. talking, and we were driving along, and she gets a call from her mom, and her mom's like, "Where are you?" And she's like, she makes up this whole like stupid ass story. And then after she gets off the phone, as I'm sitting in the passenger seat, I'm like, why did you lie to her? <laughs> and she goes, oh, because she'll never believe me. And I'm like, what are you talking about? The truth sounds more believable than the lie you just made. <laughs> yeah, but David, you don't understand. She's always calling me a liar. And I'm like, well, maybe it's because you're always lying. <laughs> 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 so anyway, back to the story. She's like, no, uh, there's no one else. I'm like, okay. She's like, yeah, I just want to make it easier for you to get over me. And I'm like, uh, by what? telling me you're cheating. Okay. So oh she goes ahead and I remember that her Facebook messenger was signed in on my phone. Oh, oh. so you're, you're going to be a, doing a little investigating. Oh, yeah. I okay. That, okay. Like, this what happened? no fucking sense. So I go ahead and the guy that she kept mentioning, I didn't see anything from them. And I'm like, all right, whatever. And then she goes ahead and she had mentioned this, uh, this one woman. And as I go ahead, I'm like, there's no way. So as I'm scrolling through the messages, I'm like, oh, my God, it actually is her. Wait, wait, wait. And She's I'm cheating like, on her with this woman or cheating on you with this woman? She's cheating on me, or she was cheating on me, uh, with a woman who was like 14 years older than she was. Hmm. Is that too old? <laughs> she was, what was it? I think she was 25. I was 23. This woman was damn near 40 and a recovering alcoholic. I think that's too old. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's 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 a normal age. It's the only yeah. part of this that's that's normal. <laughs> It's a normal like, age gap. Plus seven. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't uh, even fall in that rule, actually. Oh, yeah, okay. Man, oh, if the seven. And half yeah, your yeah, age yeah. plus seven. Yeah. Right. Okay. If it doesn't fall there in the rule, then yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's, it's out. out. It's out. But go on. But anyway, she goes ahead, and I see all the messages. And, like, they're as obvious of cheating as, like, you could fucking get. So I'm like... Okay, so I call her. I'm like, why the fuck did you lie to me? And she's like, oh, I'm not lying. We're just playing. What? It's That's a bit. how you play with your friends? It's a bit. What? <laughs> it was like, why are you lying? Why, why do you feel the need to lie? I've already seen the messages and everything. And you already broke up. So, yeah. So like. Exactly. Like- but not only that, like, like I said, she wasn't completely out yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, apparently, she had some shit in the past where she had been with other women before, but like her mom didn't know. Mm. Okay. So she goes ahead and she would tell me, Oh yeah, this girl kissed me and I wasn't expecting it. And I'm like, okay. And then another time she tells me, Oh yeah. My one friend spread a rumor in school that I was into girls 
Right. And I'm like, like just over and over and over. And I don't even care. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. and then there was this one time she was like, Oh, one time I got drunk and my friend's uh, lesbian best friend saw that they were kissing her friend and her boyfriend. She's like, so we should. And I was like, no, we shouldn't. And then she kissed me and then we hooked up and I was like, okay. And then it's like, in hindsight, you see everything that's a fucking lie, and you're like, "Yeah, why? I don't care." So, anyway, oh she my goes goodness. ahead, and, like we have an argument. So, how so do you get the mom involved? That's yeah. that's the yeah. tea that I want. That's the tea that I want. There's so much backstory. That's the thing. <laughs> also, so. Kimberly <laughs> Fine says, "Was she is a was she a nurse? This feels a nurse style red flaggy." <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <she wasn't laughs> <there>. Okay. <laughs> No, she went to school for engineering, but I don't know if there's any correlation. Yeah, to yeah. Engineering, engineering <laughs> school, that's it's, a red flag for <laughs> sure. Red flag. Super Everyone red flag. Everyone knows that you're a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do you get the mom involved? Yeah, what happened? So she goes ahead and like she's giving me like all this BS, and then eventually we meet up. She gives me my stuff back, and I'm like, whatever, it's behind us now. And then later on, her mom actually messages me. And oh. she's like, uh, what's going on between you two? I haven't seen you. And she said that you guys were not together anymore. And I'm struggling with this. And mind you, I'm like, why are you struggling? Like, I thought you didn't even like me. <laughs> hmm. oh. And she's like, actually, no, I did always like you. I just, you know. I just like um, other people, too. Like, <laughs> and I didn't want to tell you. <laughs> she was just a very, like. If I had to like describe it, like uh, just a very short, like very terse kind of person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she, she doesn't sound in. super empathetic. Not at all. Yeah, exactly. It was just more so that like she was just very straight and to the point. But yeah. That's how she talked to everyone. Cassandra Perry so says anyway. she an evil thing, man. Like, wow, I want to kick her out of the LGBT community too. <laughs> So how did you get the, the proof abuse. that you like, like how, how did this all like shake out? Like, like wh when the dust settled, like what did you say and what happened? So it was after her mom messages me, I basically was like, Hey, I don't know what the hell is going on with her. Um, her mom's like, well, she's been around with this woman, Diana now who's constantly coming around, blah, blah, blah. And then a few, like, I think a week had passed and then, Basically, I was on the phone with my ex, and here's the thing. It was like she kept even saying, oh, I might think about trying to get back together with you. I just need to figure some things out, or, you know, you need to figure some things out, blah, blah, blah. It's like, why are you stringing me along? And then as I'm on the phone with her, the fucking woman takes the phone from her and then just starts going off on me. And first oh. of all, I didn't even realize it was a woman because her voice dead ass sounds like, oh, so <laughs> what you're doing? And I'm like, who the fuck is this? You sound like my uncle. Oh, my so, God. Wow. This is the day after my birthday. Wow. And oh, what a present, my guy. Uh, what a present. They had, they had plans. They had everything already settled. They were in a different city. Oh, oh my God. Going and I'm like, all right, fine. And then, like, it just pissed me off that, like, they were basically laughing in my face. Oh, yeah. It was like, you can have some respect. Like, so you, yeah. you, did, like, you cut contact with her after that point, life. right? What was that? You cut contact with her after that point, yeah? Uh, yeah, for the most part. But then one last time I go ahead, I'm like, all right, you think it's funny? All right. So I hang up the phone and I immediately text with her mom. Yeah, Brittany's a lesbian. I thought you should know. And was cheating and on me. Me. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I I did say that. I was like, yeah, she cheated on me with a woman. She's a with she is a lesbian, blah, blah, blah. And basically that was my mic drop moment. Oh my god. Whoa. So how did the mom react? What did she say back to you? Her mom didn't react. All I did was get a fucking angry phone call from my ex. <laughs> Well, I guess wow. it worked. I guess the mama talked, but man, I She's am. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you tell my mom that? You're such a fucking asshole. 
Well, honestly, it sounds like it sounds like uh, she had she, some karma coming. She had that's, some karma coming, and honestly, sure. I love the nuclear option of Ooh. of telling the mom and the mom impact like like saying like this is the discipline you deserve, dude. Uh, Mega my own. Thank you so much wow. for what your the, the Legend. crazy story what? and all the great uh, comments. We really update. appreciate you coming on the show. There's one small update to that story, though. Okay, hit hit us with it. So I went ahead and I saw like a post and like it was month it was like over a month after we had broken up. I had saw a post and I realized like shit, like we don't really look in society as men can be victims of abuse as well. So I made a post and like I just kind of like outlined everything. And then I get a call later on that night from her and she's losing her shit. Mind you, we're not even friends on Facebook anymore yeah. at that point. She's losing her shit at me for my post on my page. I'm like, why are you fucking bothering with me? And she's like, oh, I have friends. And I'm like, no, we're not, we don't have Bro, any friends anymore. You yeah. just need to go no contact. So, you yeah. got a no contact. Yeah, chick is yeah, yeah. and JC says, I think contact. people in the chat forget she was literally beating this man. Like, like she was, like, yeah. like oh, yeah. she was, yeah. she was incredibly abusive, cheated on him and uh, was just overall. So hard one time. She on bit the you. Neck. Yeah, not bit like me. a kinky way. No. <laughs> she no. Was, she was oh. hitting me, and I grabbed her hand because I, you know, turns out you don't like to be hit. Yeah. And she decides to bite my shoulder and twist her neck, like twist her. Oh head my god. To oh like god. cause as much pain as possible. Well. And fuck. Then she goes ahead. I'm like, she. Like, after the breakup and everything, I was like, I was saying to her, I was like, Brittany, don't fucking start with me. I still have the picture of what you did to my neck. And then she says this in a text message. That I actually have it screenshotted because I was yeah. nervous like how psycho she was. She goes, I'll just lie to the police and tell them it happened during sex. And, I'm and like, this, this is why you always you? keep receipts. receipts. Yeah. This receipts, is why you receipts, keep receipts. receipts. Exactly. Like, if there's anything, point, that, oh, like, my God. Yeah, yeah. Court good. the Brave says she's a wild uh, animal. Ballroom Blitz Kid says sounds like something out of Exorcist. If there's anything that we've learned from this story, it's one, uh, tell the mom because that's great revenge. <laughs> And 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 two always keep receipts. Um, and also three submit your stories to OKOP show uh, because we love hearing them. And Mega my own. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We're gonna go yeah. back into some other stories, but we appreciate you supporting the stream and coming on the show. You're a legend, sir. A legend. You got it. Guys. All right. It's been a great talk. Talk soon. Yes, sir. And we'll see you back in the chat. Yes. All right. So. So, uh, John, are you ready to hit this next story? Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. And this one, Riley, is 342. Yeah. And mark. also, if you haven't already liked the stream, let's do it, please. Please, for the love of all things holy, like the stream. And uh, let's maybe do another like spam in the chat. Maybe uh, what's your favorite animal? Um, someone in the chat was actually asking recently. Mm -hmm. So uh, with that. I think, John, Let's are you ready it. to jump into the story? And also, thank you for telling the story, Mega Mile. That was awesome. We love you. Let's rumble. Fiance caught messaging a married woman during his bachelor party. Oh, it's uh, S2. I'm sorry. S2. I got you, my dude. Let's do it for... Yep. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Let's do it for real this time, ladies and gentlemen. Am I the a-hole for ruining my brother-in-law's reputation by telling the truth to my friends? This comes from bad in law one who says my in-laws are cur are currently furious with me for hurting my brother-in-law's feelings and reputation within my friend group. Recently, my single brother-in-law, Chris, 38 male, has been hinting at me to introduce him to women and I've refused. Why? Is he a little creep? He's Chris. Is he a little creep? Is he a little stinky man? <laughs> yeah, is, he a little, is that a new thing? Stinky man? I don't know. I like it. It is now. <laughs> I like Sophia it. Sophia made a it a thing. It's my man. thing. Throw a stinky yeah. man in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Sophia. Do Drop you a know stinky a stinky man. man? Drop a stinky man in the, the comments. Stinky man. Yeah. <laughs> if you know a stinky man, put his full government name. There yeah. we go. Social security. Put him on blast. Put his full... <laughs> let's let's put put the steal government. the right let's identity. Blast some stinky man in the comments. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, my God. I really uh, like that. <laughs> Chris has been single for almost three years, and he's been having a hard time meeting women. He tried flirting with my friend, but she had been cold and non-receptive. 
This was my friend Grace, 35 female. Grace is not interested in him due to his inability to be faithful. Ah, Ooh, that is a, yeah. a good a good reason. That's a good reason. Also, Nikki Farrell, thanks for the five euros. Hey, we're uh, getting close to that four hour stream. So if you want us to go for another hour, let us know. But we have a uh, fifty more minutes. So you got fifty 15? more minutes. Fifty. Oh, so yeah. five zero. Um, and she wasn't physically attracted to him. Ah, so All right. she, we'll and she's not attracted it. to him. Man we'll had do. nothing going for him. <laughs> yeah. He tried, he tried to flirtatiously engage with her during a small party my husband and I had last Saturday. My husband got a long-awaited promotion, so we had a little party. During the party, Grace had grown frustrated with his incessant flirting and at some point told him in no uncertain terms that she found him physically ugly and that his physical ugliness is only surpassed by the ugliness of his character. Whoa. She's like, you're, you're physically ugly. You're internally ugly. I don't like you because you're ugly. Ugly wow. through and through. What wow. a what a burn. Dude, burn. got him. Burn. Yeah. Your whole identity is just... <laughs> Your aura is ugly. Yeah. Damn. Disgusting. Roasted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. AM wishes. Roasted. <gasps> she told him uh, he, she told him this in private so no other guest had heard her scathing review of his personhood. <laughs> Welp, lo and behold, Chris left the party. <laughs> I probably would too. I wouldn't. Yeah. 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 Boom roasted. Yeah. If someone told me my whole... I, I would probably my, cry. Yeah. I'd, I'd leave. I would For leave. sure. Ouch. <laughs> The following afternoon, while my husband and I were nursing a wicked hangover, my in-laws, to surprise me, called me to scold me for having abused and embarrassed Chris. Is this OP's fault, yes or no? Sam Sophia chat. What did OP tell a friend again? So, basically, um, Chris Ow. has had no luck in the past three years. Uh Maybe due to the fact that he's has ugly. a huge reputation. He's of, ugly in and out. He's ugly and cheats all the yeah. time, allegedly. Um, and so Chris asked him for help. He refused. Um, so he tried flirting with his friend, and he gave him no support. He just didn't wingman him. Yeah, why wingman aren't you him. wingmanning me? Uh, Unacceptable. My, you know who was great wingman? Who? Freaking Alex Hirschman, who's in the chat right now. Sam, you're hey. so handsome. I love you. Woo! My boy's in Guatemala. There we go. Going to oh, sex damn. parties. He's a sex party guy. Wow. Yeah. Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> no. But yeah, basically, the uh, alleged crime is uh, OP did not wingman. Yeah. Yeah. Should he be braided? Um, no. Oh, no. Should he be torn to bits? Should he be racked and tortured till he tells the whole Should truth? Should he be tarred outrage? and feathered? <laughs> Tar oh, that's a good one. That's a great one. Yeah. Thanks. My goodness. Should he be drawn and quartered? <laughs> <laughs> Should he be defenestrated? Damn. I've got so many. Thrown out the window. Oh, wow. defenestrated. I, I've, I've, I'm imagining of like a stone castle. Flayed like, and salted? That's a pretty good one. Flayed and um, flayed and salted. That's so you in oil. That just sounds delicious. Flayed like, and salted. Um, but imagine if if you got flayed and then you put salt in the exposed skin. Ouch! You would that would hurt. Well, that's that what they did with the, on like boats. They would whip also shout out to the six hundred people in the stream. We're back up, baby. We broke the record. Uh, can we do a TLDR for the new people in the stream? Yes. yes. So yeah. basically, to everyone that just joined. Um, OP has a uh, in a uh, brother-in-law, Chris, who is ugly and cheats on people all the time. Yep. Yeah. And uh, he didn't help Chris get with his female friend, Grace. Now the in-laws are screaming at him. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you? Do you know how hard it is for this man to find someone that likes him a little? He's ugly. <laughs> He's ugly. Not it is out. He has a disease where he has to cheat all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Who's letting this boy into their loins you Dude. know whoa no one because no one. no one should yeah well he hasn't he hasn't had a serious uh relationship in three years okay yeah so makes probably sense because he's ugly <laughs> yep. i'll see josie mendez i have updates on the lego date so i'll tell you Ooh, okay story time yeah, okay story Let's time go john needs to get a hair brand sponsorship am i right i'm open Ambushes. to it some people were saying like oh we have to have sophia do it but i thought me and sophia could like we could go team, yeah we right? basically have the same color hair yeah Guys. Very similar. John's is a bit more blonde than yeah. mine, maybe. At all of your favorite uh Lady shampoo. presidents. Oh, sorry, oh. yeah, shampoos. <laughs> and lady presidents. Wow. <laughs> Sam really someone said I looked like a lady president in my, my suit and yeah. shirt. 
Which did hurt because Someone said I looked like a soccer mom, so you know. You know what? It hurt because it was <laughs> true. Okay, it hurt because it was, and I had already been thinking like I want to do the shirts less. I'm in a turtleneck today. I just got this turtleneck. Now you're That's giving good. Steve but, Jobs. Wait, yeah. yeah. Wait, what's Anyways. wrong with the soccer mom? Soccer moms are awesome. Yeah. Thank you. If I'm a soccer mom, uh, I'm no, not so happy. I just said my. This was before I got my haircut, though it does look the same. <laughs> but they they were just like, Sophia, you need a. I, you're so pretty. You need a new haircut. You look like a soccer mom. <laughs> What? You don't look like, like a soccer mom. Big. You know what I want to look at? <laughs> the rest of the story. story. Mom. What a segue. So, after a few minutes of shouting back and forth on the phone with the in-laws, uh, I reminded my husband that handling his family was his job. Mm -hmm. Sir? Told you. So, while my husband argued with his parents, I reviewed our security cameras. <gasps> what? Wait, what? Like, to, to, like, spy on Chris? And... Him being a little weirdo, a little stinky Everybody man. Everybody hates Chris. <laughs> Literally. Well, Opie says, and honey. Grace verbally tore him apart. Okay. Grace reminded him that he cheated and divorced his late ex-wife, Lily, while she was battling cancer. And then he got dumped by the mistress for being a cheater as he continued to cheat on the mistress. I mean, that, again, classic. Classic wow. move to cheat uh, on your wife while she has cancer. Wow. Uh, God. That's, that's, that's literally, that's, it, it, it's the most likely he's time. He's literally so ugly. He's, he's literally ugly so ugly. That. And not only is he ugly, he is. He's this freaking stinky man. He's a freaking stinky man. The and and he, he's like a, 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 a walking, like, fuck, what the cliche. He's a walking bubonic cliche. Bubonic plague. Truly. Yeah. <laughs> if the bubonic plague was a human, yeah. it is Chris. Human incarnate, yeah. Um, Grace told him that he wasn't a man of any significant value other than a few coins that he had in the oh bank. God. And there's no way in hell that she would entertain his delusions of sexual grandeur uh, and beauty. Excuse me. Wow. She also said the only thing he had going for him was his overbloated job title as an executive director to a third rate company that will probably collapse in the next five years. Whoa, yeah. They're reading him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. As a parting gift, she told him to consider getting some cosmetic work done to approve his haggard experience oh appearance and perhaps to start praying for divine intervention to fix his rotten soul since there's no way a psychotherapist could ever come close to fixing whatever's wrong with him. Oh my god, I Woo! would leave. I would I would leave. Chris I would is leave. being I would, eviscerated. I would I would go live inside a uh a cave. <laughs> I feel like, uh, you know, there's that person that like people uh, hire to like call to break up yeah, or like yeah, tell yeah. you yeah. bad news. I feel like uh, OP should have that service, but instead she she gets the full or to Grace. Grace yeah. gets the full story, and then she creates the script of insults. Yeah, to she's hurl like, at the person. You are yeah, like the, the insults the are fucking like top tier. They're 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 like cutting wow. to the quick. Like, they're you going to, to the go core to of his a, soul. You need to one go like get your face face reconstructed and Cause, to pray for divine intervention. Cassandra oh Perry says, poor Chris, but boy deserves it. You know, he yeah. for sure deserves Did it. Did you not like, hear how stinky whoa. of a man he is? Bro. He's a stinky the man. man. He's the he stinkiest man. He's the stinkiest man. He smells worse. He smells <laughs> more than French fries from in and out in a car. Yep. I am so giving <laughs> camp counselor vibes right now. You're right. Definitely. <laughs> How are the brave? <laughs> that is what I'm doing. And we are the children that Sophia is desperately trying to be like, guys. Okay, kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's read track. the story. So, Sophia is trying to get us back on track. And actually, to join all the new, like, what, 40 people that just joined the stream? Whoa! What is the TLDR? What's the TLDR of what we are right now? New record. The TLDR. Um, OP has a brother-in-law, Chris. Chris has been trying for three years to get a woman with no success. <laughs> Chris hit on his friend Grace. He did not wingman or support whatsoever. Yeah. The parents were mad for him not wingmanning. And now we just found out that Grace uh, said that only God can fix him because he's so evil and ugly. Yeah. His, his soul is just, he's being flayed. He's being yeah. racked and tortured. Yeah. He's being, that uh, that is hell. Feathered. He's in hell. Yeah. And, and that brings us to here. My in-laws and Chris feel that I shouldn't have told my friends what Chris did because now he's perceived by my girlfriends as a terrible person. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He's I'm perceived so as a terrible person. Oh, 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 It's almost like he I'm, actually is. I'm sorry person. that you got found out. Wow. 
Damn. Uh-huh. I told them he was unfortunately a terrible person and people would have always found out what happened between him and the late great Lily. I then discussed what happened with my colleague, Natasha. She said I was cruel for having told my friend group about what happened between Chris and his ex-wife because Chris had grown a lot in these past two years. Not that much. And (laughs) and didn't need to be known for the worst thing he has ever done. Natasha is dating Chris's friend, so she also knows him. FYI, I've only discussed Chris's treatment of Lily with my direct friend group, and that's only six people, and half of them already knew, and they were also friends with Lily, his ex-wife. It's almost like your actions have consequences. <laughs> your actions Wait. have consequences. What is that from? What? what? A- actions. Actions? Have, have consequences? consequences? Yeah, JC says you never grow past cheating on your spouse that has cancer. I mean, at least I not, forgot about that. Like again, like maybe. You, I, hey, we all hope people can get better, right? Yeah. We all yeah. hope people can get better, but two years ain't enough, bro. Yo, you yeah. gotta be in the doghouse for like a while. Yes, yeah. yeah. You do. He needs to find God. He needs to find God. And and pr- and, 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 and hopefully to find smite him. him down as a psychiatrist. Yeah. yeah. God, please, please be my psychiatrist and plastic surgeon uh. and deliver me from my ugliness in my soul and my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um so last last sentence here. So it's not like I was screaming, hear ye, hear ye, in the town square, telling all of Chris's business i hope they i mean they kind of hey, should because hey, uh hey, warn he needs them. yeah he, I he needs to be warned Chris with ugly yeah and Ak- akimori says not forget he cheated on the mistress too and the mistress <laughs> left him so he cheated on his wife with the Bro. mistress and they cheated on the mistress oh my god even cheating on the the the, the word woman you cheated mistress. on with and then you cheat on her Wow. Yeah, yeah. Cheat wow. gonna cheat. Wow. Burning Rose says, "I can hear the poor kids screaming low. When will you learn? When will you learn that your oh, actions thank have you. consequences?" That's what I was trying to think of. When will you learn? Yeah. What's that from? I don't know. A video. A video. I think Burning internet, Rose. Can you tell internet us? Internet video. I think it's like yeah, a TikTok yeah. video. Yeah. Yeah. Send send the send the link to send the video. Send a link. So, uh, what do we think? Do we think that uh, anyone's the a hole in this story for Chris. basically, or like like do for we think the friend is the a hole? Obviously, Chris is a hole. Yeah. I think the friend is the a hole for emotionally, physically, and spiritually eviscerating Chris. I think no, because he kept on bothering her. Yeah, like I think that's also think something to remember because she was like, "No, I'm not interested. No, I'm not interested." He would not leave yeah. her alone, and he's, and then she's like, "All right, let me just make this as clear yeah. as humanly possible." No, yeah. like what? Like as a woman, when you uh, when you're nice to guys, they're like, "Oh my god, she is obsessed with she me. She loves me." Mm. Yeah, and so he could have been like, <laughs> if she was just like, I'm not interested, he's like, oh, she's playing hard to get. Yeah, she yeah, had yeah. to be like, you are the ugliest person I've ever seen in my life, and I, God hates you. A girl a girl will say, oh, I'm not interested, and a guy will hear, oh, me, I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Man. But well, at least she's made it clear. Is yeah. Grace, yeah, is Grace, is Grace the Crystal. a-hole? Um, I think no, because I'm, I'm going to guess here. Probably no one has told him, especially if his parents were no protecting him. No one's told him, him that he's yeah. ugly. No <laughs> one's told him that he's butt freaking ugly and inside and out, yeah. and he's a terrible person. Inside yeah, like, and I think he needs to be. It sounds like he maybe wasn't confronted enough with yes. the fact that he's like has been such an asshole. Yeah, and maybe she's doing him a service by giving him the wake up call yeah. he needs to right his ways and not become such a stinky man. If he was remorseful and actually grew in the last two years, he would be like, he would oh, hey, do what he's doing. I, be I, so bothersome. I approached this woman I was in. In, she seems not about it. Okay, cool. Let me let me keep yeah. it moving yeah. and you know live my life. But no, yeah. yeah. But no, stinky man, stinky man. Stinky trash man. But stinky uh, someone's trash asking, man. am I late? Yeah, you're late. But guess what? We're doing another story. So come on in. And uh, we got 30 minutes left in the stream. If you want the stream Shut to keep going, uh, you know we gotta we, we, we hit that hit that dono bar yeah, and uh, we'll we'll keep going. We might stay. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right, let's get. Into it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bia. <Woo>. Thanks. <laughs> I accused my 28 male fiance of cheating on me, 26 female, and left the house. Wow. So throw our throw our eight girl free an idiot says. <laughs> Throw away because I feel stupid and need advice. Uh-huh. My fiance and I have been in a relationship for the last six years, engaged for the last two years, and we're about to get married in November 2024. Ooh, 
So it's coming up. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. You're right. In the going, future. Yeah. Going to try and not make this long. On Monday, I woke up around 2 a.m. to go to the bathroom. As I walked past my fiance's side of the bed, his phone went off with a message. I got curious and looked. The message was from a girl called Angie. Angie. <laughs> Angie. Huh. Angie. <laughs> hmm. The Angie. message said it was good to see you again. And I had a lot of fun. When should we do it again sometime? Mm. Or sorry, we should do it again sometime. Mm. I took his phone with me to the bathroom and read their chats. Nothing sexual or even flirty. I mean, that first one sounded funny. That sounds kind of flirty. Um, but there were a bunch of conversations about meeting up at her place, what they did that day, all the fun they were having. What type of fun? I remember <laughs> yesterday that I wanted to do something with him, but he couldn't as his sister was in town and they had arranged to meet and hang out for months now. He did invite me along, but I didn't. Uh, but I didn't go. Didn't want to take away to, from his time with his sister. My thoughts immediately went to him, to him cheating on me, and I started to bawl like a baby in the bathroom. Oh. My fiance came rushing into the bathroom to see what was going on. I was not as quiet as I thought I was in the end. When he came close to me and asked what was going on, I told him not to touch me. He looked hurt in the moment and took a step back. I gave him his phone and told him to explain yourself through my tears. He took the phone, looked at it, and laughed. Then I saw him laughing. Oh. I got up and stormed out, locking myself in the spare bedroom. He came to the bedroom and through the door and said he, and through the door said he was sorry for laughing and tried to explain himself. Before he said anything else, I told him to leave. He then left to our bedroom that morning. Before he woke up, I grabbed some of my things and came to my sister's house. I've been here since Tuesday morning, too afraid to go home. He sent me a message this morning saying he heard and saw me leave, but didn't want to stop me because of what happened the night before. Again, he, was so he said he was sorry for laughing, but that the situation was just ridiculous in the moment and his tired brain responded with laughter. I sent back some hurtful things and that he is a cheater. He responded with, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Angie is a nickname for my sister, Angelina. Bro, come on. How did you not know that? He was going to hang out with his sister. Oh, my but God. what were you doing? With your sister. Game of Thrones, question mark. Oh, God. He, to uh, he told me to confirm <laughs> with his sister if I didn't believe him and told me to check Facebook and Insta if I needed proof because picture pictures were posted of their meetup yesterday. He didn't say anything to the hurtful things I said to him or anything, but told me the house was open for me to come back anytime I like. And when I do, we'll have a serious conversation about what happened and what will happen going forward. I'm scared to go home because I feel like he will be breaking up with me and I don't want that. How can I handle this? I know I was, I know I was wrong for the way I acted. I acted like a child. I overreacted. How can I fix this? What can I do? And there are some top comments okay so give the tldr for people who have just joined um the chat. so basically op is in a relationship and um was looking at her husband's or partner's phone and saw that he had gotten some messages from a girl named angie um not overtly flirty but just saying like it was so nice to see you blah 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 yeah and she also remembers that he had said that he was going to meet up with his sister um and invited her but she didn't go along uh and then basically she assumed that he was cheating on her and then he told her that's that, my sister that's my sister angie is short for angelina yeah which like shouldn't she know shouldn't she know that shouldn't his sister's know? name is angelina yeah How, i'm wondering if this is like but it couldn't have been that short of a relationship because they live together yeah if if you live together that's a red flag for not knowing oh no that. they're engaged yeah if you're Bruh. engaged and you don't that know fiance, the nickname yeah. of what he calls his sister red flag well maybe also so context clues was her mind so like Blinded. on or ready ready for cheating yeah. that she just saw a female name yeah and which is a red flag went out the window that's a red correct. flag too yeah. that's, that's a red flag, flag too because if, if she, yeah you if lack that trust. going straight towards thinking that he's cheating for any woman in his life then that's a red flag because she yeah. doesn't have enough trust in the relationship yeah and also as i always say if you are going to look at your partner's phone that is a red flag a red flag unless the door is open unless, so, so we uh, and i, I want to hear also thanks for everyone coming in the chat but we have this theory on the show where it's like it's not bad if the door is open like so there's this idea when police 
uh, are are uh, like searching homes. If the doors open and they see drugs in the house, then they can go in the house, right? And it's fine because they have probable cause. So like if you, for example, see that your partner gets like a crazy text that looks really suspicious and you go through the door and see like what is on the other side of that text, you had probable cause. So it's not like snooping to the like worst degree, right? Mm. Um, but it does, what it does show is like, once you cross that boundary, it kind of like hurts the relationship regardless of like, my what, what thing it is. is that you can do it, but know that it will harm the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I agree. I think it, w- it will harm the relationship. Yeah. Uh, bad gal CC says, don't look into the phone unless you're, yeah. you're, yeah, unless yeah, you're prepared, prepared to, to leave. leave. That's, what I, that's yeah. what I say. That's my golden yeah. rule. Yeah. yeah. Sophia's golden rules. Sophia's oh, golden rules. Sam's rule. got some competition yeah. over here. These Wait, are my silver rules. <laughs> if, you, if you're going to look in the phone prepared to leave, aren't you like already out of the relationship in a way? That's what I'm saying. I think that if you, are, if, you, if you are so distrustful of your partner that you have to look through their phone, then I don't, I, I don't think there's longevity in that relationship. I think, uh, I think there could potentially be longevity, but I think, yeah. it, it, I think it, dam- it, it damages the trust. Yeah. Built in the relationship. The first story that we had in the stream, she went through his diary on a whim and it actually turned out. So it's yeah. like, but the relationship no, was already fucked that, before. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, already yeah, yeah. like you so, will, you may find stuff and then you're proven 100%, right, 100%, but it will damage yeah. the relationship. Yes. Stella Davis says, Sophia has good rules. Sam's rules are questionable and immoral. <laughs> Bro, my rules are not sick. The he theory, just says the theory. He just says theory. you can cheat no. on your wife with your kids. No. Okay. That's my all in- my golden rule is if you're <laughs> a, 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 this is a golden rule of prediction. You can predict <laughs> if a just pro- say theories. Stop saying right. rules. Say theory. Yeah, all right. A the golden a theory, 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 theory is like you can predict if someone will stay past cheating by how many uh, years they've been in a relationship, and every four years the, <laughs> you can basically like, predict that. If they have one instance of cheating, they'll probably move past it because there's enough momentum in the relationship. And for every kid that they have, that you get another instance of cheating that could probably move past. And this is a scientific theory. It's a scientific theory that's, that's studied right. for years. That's also, right. Lolax Lita, thanks for the five bucks. Woo! We appreciate you. All it's right. a theory, Stella oh Davis. God. It's a theory. Okay. Okay. Is there an update? There's top comments. Yeah. Chicken Lupe says, how did you not put Angie and Angelina together as the sister of the man you were supposedly marrying, especially when he told you he was meeting his sister and invited you to go? Sorry, sis, but this is your own damn idiotic fault. So much hate. Edit, especially since y'all have been together six years. You mean in all that time you've never heard her called Angie? Uh, Cute Summer 2411 says... Even if you hadn't heard him call her Angie before, you knew that his sister's name was Angelina, which is obviously very similar and that she was in town and he'd been hanging out with her and you immediately jumped to assume he was cheating. I'm sorry, but this is an absolutely buck wild reaction. If he doesn't break up with you, you need to get yourself into therapy ASAP and figure out where this knee jerk reaction came from. In fact, Mm. you really should do that either way because this level of trust issue in an otherwise stable six-year relationship is not normal unless you're leaving out something huge like past infidelity. Opie says, nothing like that at all. He's always been loving and never hid anything from me. We know the passwords to every device each other owns. Um, And City Girl Sunflower says, I hate to to be the a-hole, but I'm curious as to why cheating was the first thing you went to. If he's never given you a reason to believe he's cheating and when he was especially clear about what and who he was going to see, I can't help but feel like there's some projection slash guilt on your end. I don't know. It just seems insane to me that that's where your mind went to and that's how you reacted. Opie says, I was cheated on before by my previous boyfriend and found out in an almost similar way. Mm. Uh, And there's more edits and an update. JC says, agreed with comment for real. Yeah, I I agree with that. I think that's well put. Yeah, I just, yeah. Just the fact that he l- literally told her that he was going to meet up with his sister and invited her. And she's yeah. like, well, he must be cheating and he must have been reverse psychologizing me. Yeah. I, I don't know if I, like if if that if I was on the other side of that relationship, I don't know if I would like if that would be a break up offense. Right. If you were the guy, if I was the guy, like I don't think I, but I would be like it would kind of I think it would shake my confidence in the relationship for sure. hundred percent. I'd be like, yeah. oh, like you really thought that? Of, of me yeah, I feel like it would warrant yeah. Like further conversations And also just kind of like You kind of just Have a watchful eye Of like okay like 
is everything okay? Is everything okay? Yeah. Like just yeah. being more me, being more aware and observant of the dynamic of the relationship. Yeah, no, agreed, agreed. But yeah, it does damage does damage the trust. I think like yeah. relationships are all about trust, and like there are things like like there, there there are limits to people like how much people will trust you. That is true. You know, and people everyone has different limits. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know what? There's, I, there's more stuff. Oh, there is more stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh here we go. Horses. Uh, there's an edit to the original post. Before someone asks, I've heard him referring to his sister as Angie in the past, but my brain didn't put it together that How? Night. Yikes. I have been at my sister's house since Tuesday morning, too afraid to go home, and the only text I've gotten from him so far is asking if I'm okay and a good night text. <laughs> when I tried to talk over the phone, he says, we will talk when you're home. He won't be doing it over the phone. The conversation has to be had face to face. And there's an update the following day. Okay. So before we get into the update, yeah. there's a bunch of new people yeah. to the stream. Hey. Thank you for tuning in the stream. If you haven't already liked the stream, freaking like it and like it. subscribe and then freaking spam the chat. That's right. Um, but Sophia, give us a TLDR. Oh, I'm so of, bad at these. Okay. You do your best. Okay. So basically, OP... Uh, is engaged and saw on their fiance's phone that they got a text from a girl named Angie. Uh, and when they read that, they saw a bunch of texts about talking about hanging out, nothing that was overtly flirty. Uh, and their brother, or sorry, brother, their fiance also told them that, told OP that they were going to be hanging out with their sister that day and invited OP to come along. Uh, but for some reason, OP thought didn't put two and two together didn't put two and two together thought the fiance was cheating and then when she went to confront the fiance the fiance was like laughing and being like what are you talking about uh and then explains that this is his sister yeah um but and he saying, literally yeah. told her that i'm going to see my yeah. sister she knows that the sister's nickname is angie and the thing is the thing is like he still he, she still was like oh he's cheating on me he's seeing this girl angie what if it's a horrible, horrible comment in the chat. And yeah, you Carrie Chatter said, what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> you are banned. 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 I'm not, no, I'm not Ew, even going to give even it. Look don't even scroll I'm not even going to read it. Scroll the fuck away. Right ah! Scroll oh, away. Okay, yeah, Full so. body chills. Banned. Banned. Let's get back Banned. to the story. Ooh. Oh, my God. I'm reading God. the update. Ew. Ew. Ugh. Okay, update. I don't know what to do now. My fiance left me. Whoa! Oh my god. Okay, well, at least that it ended. May, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were expecting that. Um, this morning I got ready to go home. Before I left, I had a final conversation with my sister, and she basically said the same as all of you. During our conversation, the doorbell rung, and my sister went to have a look at who it, who is here so early on a Sunday. My fiance walked in, and I was actually excited to see him. I went in to hug him, but he pushed me away. Hmm. I felt hurt in that moment, and he asked to speak to me in private. We went up to the guest room where I was staying. I'm not going to say everything we discussed on here, but the short of the story is he found it very childish for me to run out of the house without talking to him. He yeah, said, which it was, yeah, which it yeah. was. It was super immature, yeah, but you know it's super mature. She refused to like go back. She's been yeah. staying at her sister's house. Yeah, but um, what's super mature is Chloe Clark donating donation bugs. Crazy thing here is that OP didn't even hear him out that no. night either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, it was also like, he hey, was explain, like, oh explain God. yourself. Yeah, also, yeah. he laughed and she was like, "How dare he?" But also, I. Th I think that would have been the most obvious sign. He's like, oh my God, no. Yeah, exactly. Like that's awesome. And then he yeah. later apologized. Yeah, for laughing. For He's laughing. like, sorry, it's just such a ridiculous situation. Yeah. Like, no, Insane. that's not. Yeah. Like, and she like refused to hear him out. Yeah. Um, but, 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 but he said he could forgive, forgive all that because misunderstandings happen. But what he can't forgive is the way I acted and ignored him and hid from him the last week. My insecurities all throughout these years have taken a toll on him and he's done. The fact wow. that a conversation with his sister caused me to do all this made him see me in a different light. I did try and explain, and he laughed at me, saying my reasoning is BS, as not just he, but the whole family refers to his sister as Angie, and I know that. He even brought up instances where I called her Angie myself. I tried to tell him that when I saw the messages, my mind just went blank, and he responded with, stop making excuses, I'm done with this. He then said it's better to break up because he doesn't see this relationship going any further. Wow. I showed him all my stuff was packed and that I wanted to go home today. He just responded, too little, too late. He said, he said it as if he was in a movie with no emotions on his face. 
When he looked at me, all I saw on his face, for some reason, is pity for me. He said he'll be canceling everything and all the money that I've spent on the wedding so far will be in my account as soon as he gets the refunds. Before he left, he just said, I hope you find someone someone that will be able to handle your childishness and insecurities, Ooh. but that won't be me. Yoinks. Ooh. Wow. Yoinks. I mean, I think deserved. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Um, I think deserved. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. like, we kind of like saw this coming yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Because again, like that, like ruin like that, like really hurts the um. It hurts uh, the trust in yeah, yeah. And also, M twenty one. Thanks for saying Sophia is the prettier sibling. She definitely is. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> she is the queen of all. Yeah. <laughs> all bow to the great and power has the of best queen. fashion yeah. too. Uh, I tried to. I tried to. Um, give Sam fashionable clothes, and he's like, "This is just not my style." You, you, you do help pick good outfits for me when, no, when I go on dates. Listen. I'll like, no, I, I, I have totally listened the last couple of times. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I have so listened. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are now seeing the dynamics of them. That makes me giggle. It's so There's good. more story. There's more story. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'm just talking about because one time I bought, I got Sam for Christmas a cool outfit, and he was like, "It's not my style." So I'm well, still not over it. I wasn't ready for the vest. You anyway, the vest. let's go. He brought all my things to my sister's house. He and two of his friends unloaded everything on my sister's lawn and left. What do I do now? I haven't been able to eat the whole day, and I just keep crying. How can I fix this? I was wrong, I know, but it's not fair that he'll dump me because of this. I think it's a little bit fair. I think it's fair. Uh, and there are some relevant comments to finish this off. Yeah, I I, I think it's fair. Yeah. I think yeah. it's fair. It's 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 definitely a red flag on her part. And it's yeah. out of the thing is, it's like out of her control. Like she, he's like, look, this to me, like this is over the line. Like I, I'm done. Whatever whatever movie line he said, like the jig is up, sister. Like it's yeah. it's over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. But I'm curious the relevant movie comments. Line. Yeah. Uh, relevant comments from Render636 says, Info, did you want him to cheat? Why were you so sure he was cheating when you literally know his sister's name is Angie? It sounds like you're almost looking for an out. Just break up with him. He deserves better. ETA, saw your update. Good on him. What, uh, WTF, do you mean it's not fair that he dumped you? I understand what he's saying when he said you're childish. You literally sound like a toddler stomping your feet and saying it's not fair. It, it is absolutely fair. You disre disrespected him and your relationship by accusing him of infidelity, not letting him explain the extremely rational explanation, yeah. and then hiding at your house, your sister's house for an entire week just to yeah, not for face an entire week. the consequences of your action. You need real psychological help if you were cheated on over half a decade ago and still use it as an excuse to be controlling, manipulative, jealous, and childish. I hope you learn from this experience and get the help you so obviously need. Damn. Whoa. Ooh. And OP says, I wasn't. I don't know what I wasn't. I have been cheated on before and my mind just went there. And there's one more relevant comment. Okay. Should I just read it? Yeah. Hit okay. It. That guy, Malcolm, says, I bet you weren't cheated on by this guy who you've been with for six years. Trust goes both ways. Be hopeful that he's looking to work this out uh, because you need to work on yourself. I'd have dumped you if this is a recurrent theme. Damn. And Opie said, he dumped me this morning. And no, I have never thought he would cheat on me. It's just what I, uh, when I saw the text, my mind went blank. Yeah, and Pamela Rojas says she yeah. absolutely has PTSD and needs therapy before yeah. going to another relationship. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like, I think it's, it, it's I don't think it's bad her being like, wait, who is that girl? Like, like, yes. like that. There's a way to bring it up. Yeah, yeah, like, like that, like, I can totally you know, understand. She could have been like, hey, I saw this text. Yeah. Like, do you mind? And give her, yeah. give her a chance. And you know what? And even I would look past, like, her being potentially mad, right? Yeah. But the, the week, like, like, like like the week of the week of yeah. pouting and Why not, not letting him explain and the week of pouting yeah i i think um i think when uh, he said he literally said hey come home like i want to talk about this yeah and i and i she think refused. she she showed her red flags and yeah. she was waving them aggressively yeah 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 Qu question question yeah. is it a red flag that the boyfriend was like i won't explain this over text because it was a simple explanation from his part, and he no, was kind of like. No, he had already like, explained it. He had already explained. He it. just didn't want to have the conversation about what had happened over text. 
I see. So he explained. He had already said, hey, that was my sister. But it took him a week to say no. that? He told her right away. So so basically, she ran out of the house and he was like, hey, that was my sister, Angelina. Yeah. And then he was like, can, can you come home and talk about this? Mm, and yep. And basically, she didn't, want to, and she didn't want to talk. And so he was like, I don't want to have this conversation over text. Please come home and let's talk right. about this. It was yeah. about that. Got it. Also, shout Woo! out Baby Godzilla for the $20. For those who have been having issues joining membership, YouTube app sometimes bugs and doesn't show the join button. Open it on a mobile browser and it'll be there. At Riley, Streamlab donation link is broken in the description. Thank you, Baby Godzilla. Thanks, Baby Appreciate Godzilla. You. Baby Godzilla is like, like always really on it. Go, yeah. go, always go on Baby Godzilla. It. Who's on, on the show? Last Who's on the show? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Check, check, her, yeah. check her out. Um, and I think we maybe have time for one more story. Unless something crazy happens, we have time for one or one or two more stories. Uh, 245. 245? Nice. One sec. Let me get the record. All right. Let's keep it rolling. 245. Rolling down the road. 245. 245. All right. Wait, are, wait. the comment one? Uh, 345. 345. 345. All right. We're going to 345. This is about monster in laws. So Ooh. this is this is terrible, terrible mother in laws <laughs> yeah. that we're about to dive into. All right. So am I the a hole for wanting my mother in law to move out after she kicked out my parents? And this comes from Venti Menti. Venti Menti. Venti Menti. What do we think? Yes or no? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Hi there. I'm here to ask for advice and to make my husband see that I'm not the asshole. Here's hoping y'all can see where I'm coming from. So I, 45 female, live with my children, 12 female, 12 female, 14 male, and 15 male. My husband, 46 male, and mother-in-law, 65 female. Full house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my mother-in-law moved in with us back in 2015 after my father-in-law passed because she was financially struggling. My mother-in-law is not easy to live with and we struggled immensely at the beginning but after a few years we found a way to cohabitate then recently three months ago to be exact my parents 68 female 68 male ha their house burned down and they moved in with us while everything is getting sorted out with insurance oh. and so on Whoa. okay really quick so it's op Children, so that's four. So OP, four children, that's five people. Yeah. Wow. Husband, six people. Mother-in-law, seven Whoa. people. And then OP's parents, eight, nine oh my people. God. That's All a in OP's lot of house. People. All in one house. And like, we don't know how big that house yeah. is, but Court of the Brave says, whoa, full house. Yeah, it's a freaking full, full house. Ass house. I mean, we have a big a big house here. Nine, imagine nine people living here. I do. The bathroom it's, situation, it's already, it, it seems like every time I want to use the bathroom, Sophia is in the bathroom. That's because every time I go in the bathroom, Sam immediately is like, I need to get in. I'm like, why didn't you need to get in two minutes ago? Because I feel like we're like, like our minds are, are no, our you bladders just hear the shower going up. off. No, I, like, I, I need to get it in. is not. It is not. It I is. just, I'll come back from my run and you'll be in there. I'm like, I need to get in there. And Too then bad. you'll be, she'll be fucking listening to some musical and singing along for like 30 minutes. That's not true. It's so long. You're, I'm in there for 15 minutes. You're doing like minutes. five songs. Songs. I'm you're in there for five. Anyway, all right. I love this. <laughs> you're doing like five songs. In I'm there. in there for fifteen. For sure. Okay. Anyway, five songs is fifteen. My voice. No, it's not because those musical songs are long. Five They're minutes. like four minutes long. Anyway, I'm not mad. <laughs> <laughs> so my uh, uh, my boys are sharing a bedroom as my parents are currently staying in my eldest bedroom. Oh. My mother-in-law has struggled with this and seems to hate my mother being around. My mother has done nothing to upset her or disturb her. And in fact, my parents' bedroom is on the other side of the house. She doesn't, however, have problems with my father and always finds a way to hang out with him. Uh, wait, the mother-in-law? The mother-in-law is always hanging out. Well, well, I think... Wait, with oh, the wife? The mother-in-law with the father. Yes, the the mother-in-law yeah. with hanging OP's out father. With my yeah. dad. Always hanging out. Mm. Okay, that's illegal. That's illegal. <laughs> Straight to jail. What if they're pals? Straight to jail. What if they're just what if they're, they're just, pals who do fun buds pal doing things? Yeah, just buds just hanging out. Yeah, they got a physical connection. A few days ago, while I was away for work, a massive argument happened between my mother and my mother-in-law. Uh, uh, put I see you in the chat. If you think you know where this is Here going, we go. put some ICs. I see you. Put some ICs. Spam the chat with ICs right now. 
My mother had accused her. My mother had accused her of trying to seduce my father. Hell and yeah. there were some in it, like, but where? Like, there's nine people in this house. Where are they fucking seducing each other? This That's is part um, of the uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, where all the parents are, are in the, the same, same bed. bed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and there's Whoa. some like risky business yeah. happening underneath the sheets. Yeah, yeah, there was a there was a scene. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> what, <laughs> what possibly could you say? Right? <laughs> oh my gosh! Somebody on TikTok. This was messed up. Not me. I don't agree with this, but someone was like, <laughs> "Yo, Charlie's mom needs to chill out because of the way she was eating the candy wrapper." Or can't, the chocolate was like seductive or something, and I was like, "What the heck?" But so did you I watch just, it? Is it true? I mean, I just saw her eat it, and she was like, "But she looked, it looked normal." I don't uh, know. Wait, what is? This wait, thing? yeah, could you demonstrate? Yeah, one yeah, more yeah demonstrate. Quite... Yeah, can you show us? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> not gonna do that. <laughs> also, if you want to call in, the number is four four zero five zero eight six five six seven. We'll probably end the stream after the story, maybe with a call in. That's great. Yeah. I love it. And again, unless something crazy happens, but hey, we're fine ending here. My mother had accused her of trying to seduce my father, and there were some inappropriate texts sent to my father. Oh. My father immediately showed it to my mother, and huh. my mother responded as if she was my father to see how far mother in law would go. And well, she went far. Oh whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So, Break it down so again. the mother in law was texting the father. The father, 30 texts. The father immediately told his wife and was like, hey, she's been flirting with me. And so um, OP's mom was like, uh, she took the phone and yeah. was pretending yeah. to be him. Yeah. And so she's like flirting back with him. To see, yeah. right, how far is this? Oh, lady and they went go? far. Yeah. Oh, dear. Damn. It's so like interesting seeing like these almost 70 year old people just like Causing drama going crazy at it. also how weird is it that you're having to you're having to like flirt back because she wants her to like yeah, see yeah. how far she'll go but you got to be like oh my gosh i just can't wait to be with you yeah do you got yeah. the viagra maybe pop four you only like, grab the prune juice <laughs> <laughs> a few days ago while i was away for work a massive argument happened between my mother and mother-in-law my mother had accused her of trying to seduce my father, and there were some inappropriate texts sent to my father. My father immediately showed it to my mother, and my mother responded as if she was my father to see how far the mother-in-law would go, and while she went far, all right? So we got a little recap. Well, my mother confronted her, and mother-in-law called the police, what? saying she wee -woo -wee -woo. felt threatened. <laughs> that is Officer! So She's flirting oh, with me chat. under false pretenses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lay down the hammer of the law. Me. Who then escorted my parents out of the house? The police. The police came to the house. So you're telling heard me heard the story and we're like, yeah, these yeah. people need to be taken down to the <laughs> yeah. precinct. Yeah, they're a little too hot and heavy. I saw the flirtatious text. You guys are swingers for sure. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. You can't even. The police can't even get a, a measly video of a car being corrected yeah. to Sophia's yeah. car. Yeah. But they'll go and arrest someone who's yeah. like yeah. having a little squabble over yeah. like yeah. luring and fl flirts in. That yeah. is what is so annoying about this story in our first story right we had op yeah. that was literally going to be murdered yeah. yeah and the police are like where's the stab wound and we're gonna tell the, the op's husband too yeah. yeah and here we have someone who's like they're flirting with me too hard <laughs> in a fake way and they call the police we got a code 12 boys let's send them all in go 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 that is Come on. so fucked uh, up uh, also the phone number is 440-508-6567 so let's get back into the story well my mother confronted her and mother-in-law called the police saying she felt threatened to escort her to the house right this all happened while my husband was at work and the kids were at school my parents went to stay at a hotel and they explained what happened to me over the phone when i returned i gave my mother-in-law two weeks to move out my husband thinks I'm escalating things and that I should forgive his mother's actions because she was lonely and confused. Ew. <laughs> Ew. She's just a poor, lonely, confused, stinky woman. Ew. What if she has dementia and she was like, yeah. I thought I was flirting with my husband. Oh, yeah, or I thought he was single. I don't remember you. Uh, I've who, never seen you before who are in my you? life. Yeah. Who are you? Yeah, that's why she called card. the police. She was like, those strangers in my house. Yeah. No, the police come and she's like, oh, hello, hello officer. Hello. I, I need to be under arrest because I'm a bad girl. <laughs> I'm a bad granny. FYI, there is nothing wrong with her. She's in good health. 
So that, uh, <laughs> damn it! Yeah, I love how OP is just like she doesn't have to mention. Don't worry. I don't deserve this. <laughs> so am I the a hole for wanting her out of our house and my life? And there is a edit and some relevant comments Ooh. and an update. Ooh! So there's some there's some juice to a squeeze still. Um, but what do you think? Is OP the a hole? No. No. Not no. the a hole. Yeah, not the a-hole. I think no. kick the mom out. Give her maybe some time to like. Yeah, well, she give her two weeks. weeks. Two weeks notice. Yeah, you know, give her a couple weeks. That's I think enough. that's. You're yeah. Yeah. old. You're an adult. Yeah, you're like, an adult. Figure it out. You're a fucking adult. Figure I mean, I guess like the nicest thing you could do is like maybe like help her out, get a place so she's not like homeless if she's like really financially. Yeah, kick her to the called, streets. Yeah, kick her called. to the streets. Give her a tent. <laughs> give her a freaking tent. Anyway, so. Let's get into the update. FYI, to answer my husband, he has not seen the text and pictures his mother sent my father. The only reason he hasn't pictures. seen it is because he refused to, but I think I'll have to insist because I need him to really understand how nasty she's been. Oh, so pictures. they sent pictures. So Nat pictures. says put her in a home for having spicy dementia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, wait, just to rephrase what's happening. Yeah. OP is saying, hey, husband, look you need to look pictures. at your mom's nudes. Yeah. To really understand. You don't understand what's going on here. How bad they are because mm -hmm. they're so bad. They're good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Low key, I have a solve for all of this. All right. Get her on. Get Mitch. her on OnlyFans. Oh. Get her on OnlyFans <laughs> and say, hey, I have a way that you're going to pay for your rent. Do hyper mature on as a category, and there you go, problem solved. She can get her own place. Financial woes. Hyper mature. So that's a that's a category, huh? Interesting. Not, not that it's I interesting. It's interesting you know about donating platforms like that because Jocelyn Kimberly just donated ten dollars. I love how I've been sitting here watching for three hours. Let's go. <laughs> Lol. Same. Lol. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Me I don't too? think we're gonna get to four, but we will finish this story. That's right. So. FYI, to answer, uh, okay, yeah. Also, I wanted to kick her out immediately, but my husband begged me to give him two weeks so he could find a place for her, which I think is understandable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my parents being saints that they said that I should give him that. My husband has profusely apologized to my parents, but my parents aren't upset with us and hold only Mill responsible as it was her disgusting actions that led to this. Just One. Nasty. In the picture, picture she sent my father, mother-in-law wasn't completely naked. She sent him lingerie pictures oh, with ah! suggestive poses ah! and accompanied with lewd text, ah! which is why my husband isn't particularly interested in seeing them. Oh, which valid. I understand. She's like, why won't you look at them? Yeah, look at them. Okay, here's here's what you do. You you uh maybe like I don't know get. The I was like get a printout like just like get them all together. You could like blur out the photo, but be like, here's a lingerie photo. Here's our and if you don't believe me, you can Look see them for the yourself. Pictures. I'm telling you to save yourself. Yeah, but he should. Yeah, he should know how his mom is behaving. Yeah, read him. Read it to him. Yeah, yeah. Read least, it to him. At least read it to him. Yes, but like maybe don't like put any voices on. You know, no. Yeah, like. Gosh. Come over here, people. like what? Uh, <laughs> you know right. what? Someone just said I need like a little. You have the sign. You. No, no, but I think I should get like a whiteboard, and so um, for every tally. time, yeah. And then, like, if you get hit, get like three strikes, you're out. Yeah, you leave the street. Yeah, you, you leave the street. Uh, or, or the opposite is if you do the best, then you get a prize. Oh, oh. I like this prize. Okay, two. The police asked my parents to leave since my mother-in-law technically lives there. To avoid escalating the situation, my parents decided to leave. The police officers did not file any charges and just left after a chat with everyone involved. There was zero violence and no one got hurt. Three, mother-in-law moved in with us after she had lost almost everything. Father-in-law died after a long battle with cancer. And you know who's oh, reviving oh. us right now? Devin Nelson. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what a segue. Mind. Thanks for always giving segue. us great stories. And Gina, thanks for the 10 bucks for Sophia's spray bottle. I, I will try and go get Hello, that this hose, These comments. Good Lord. Yeah, that would actually be pretty funny. Yeah. Um, anyway, where was I? Battle with cancer. Medical costs ate up pretty much most of their savings, and she had to sell their house. This led to spiral into a deep depression. My husband was worried for his mother-in-law and for a good reason, and she was in a terrible state of mind, so we decided to move her in with us. And there are also relevant comments. Mm -hmm. So um, one comment says, 
don't punish your husband because of this slash will she be homeless homeless um and op responds i'm not punishing my husband for his mother's actions and she won't be left homeless as my husband is looking for an apartment as was looking for an apartment slash senior housing for for her um, another commenter says, did you get your parents back in the house? I tried, but my parents refused to come to my house. If that woman is there, I got them a really nice Airbnb. That's a few minutes away from them. They're not upset with me or my husband. They're just really shocked and disgusted. And then, um, this gives a little bit more details about the whole situation. So, uh, uh, mother-in-law repeatedly tried to get with my father. My father being oblivious, thought she wanted to hang out, never went anywhere alone. So all of them were hanging out in the house. And since my father never engaged with her in any flirtatious manner, my mother-in-law thought it would be best to be bold and direct, mm -hmm. very bold and direct. So yep. she sent my father unsolicited half naked mm -hmm. lingerie pictures of herself with suggestive captions asking him to come visit her tonight which don't, i guess is like across the hall don't don't send unsolicited Lids. spicy pictures uh -oh. to people don't. don't don't do it don't do it my father saw the picture texts and within seconds he yelled for my mother <laughs> who was <laughs> sitting not too far from him my mother then took over the phone and replied if she was being serious and how should they hide it with my mother being so close? I love that like the... The, the dad was like... I'm... Yeah, he's like, um, uh, honey, honey, <laughs> here you go. Take and it. she's just like, all right, we're going to catch it. This. this is what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to do this. So my mother-in-law then suggested that they go to a hotel and meet there. That's when my mother stopped texting and confronted my mother-in-law, who then literally screamed and locked herself in the room while my mother ranted and raved at her. Then my mother-in-law called the police saying my mother was making her feel unsafe. So the police then confirmed since my mother-in-law there technically lived there that my parents had to leave. So to keep the peace and not further escalate tensions, my parents left. My mother-in-law has zero health issues. She is in control of her faculties. She just hoped my father had no loyalty, no respect or love for his wife and his daughter. But unfortunately for her, my father is principled and a fiercely loyal man. And there is one more update, but Ooh. this, does this change anything about how, uh, like how we feel about, uh, OP moving to kick out the mother-in-law? No, I would say, I would say not. No, because yeah. she, they're finding an, a suitable housing for her. So yeah, I feel like if anything, it makes me, it makes me feel better about yes. kicking her yeah. out. It's 100%. like, like fucking do it already. Yeah. Just you know? get her out. Mm -hmm. Kick her to the yeah. streets. But, there is an update. Whoop, whoop. There is an update. So I thought I'd give you all an update since several people have asked for one. My mother-in-law is currently staying in an Airbnb. And since she is in no position to buy her own place, my husband and I have decided we are buying a two to three bedroom place near us that she can live in. Yes. Uh, your punishment is we're buying you a house. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah. The plan for her is to rent out the second room to her friend who is currently going through the divorce. I haven't spoken to or seen my mother-in-law for three weeks now. My husband goes to see her once or twice a week as she is apparently severely depressed. She's also upset with me for telling my husband's entire family why she's been kicked out of the house. And they are all appalled with her. Yeah. As they should be. My husband has also gone off on her a few times for her decision and bad behavior, and he fully backs me in the decision to ban her from our home, which is good. They're on the same good page. Good decision. The children know there has been a falling out with their grandmother and me, and I suspect they know why, but they also know they can maintain their own relationship with her without upsetting me. They miss her and have gone to visit her a few times with their father. There's much I can say about my mother-in-law, but one thing I can't deny is her love for her grandchildren. So at least there's some redeeming that's, qualities. Yeah, that's yeah. good. And Catherine Lopez, thanks for the three bucks. Grandma wants to make this family tree a wreath. Yeah. With the 269 wow. donation. I have no, oh, 269. That's uh -huh. so Catherine, I see where you're at. Also, I've never heard that term, but that is hilarious. I have. Making a Christmas fan. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> um, my husband what? still hasn't looked at the messages his mother sent my father. And honestly, I can understand it because I too wouldn't want to see anything sexual involving my mother. Yeah. Agreed. There. Same. Same. Shocker. We're all in agreement here. 
Oh my God. So, uh, I can understand. Yeah. As far as my husband and I, we are both working on our relationship. Obviously during this period, our relationship was strained, but we are back on track. My husband has apologized to me several times for not putting his foot down with his mother earlier. And he's doing everything he can to mend our marriage. The whole situation has made my parents and my husband's relationship awkward, but we are slowly working on mending it. As for my parents' house, it will take another month or so before they can move back in. It's currently a construction site and my parents are looking forward to redecorating it. And there are some relevant comments. Relevant and I'll just blaze through these yeah. so we can go to our final decision. <laughs> Um, and, uh, Julia Cleveland McIntyre. Yes, it is a strange point to join the live Mojo Jojo. Yes, Mojo you did catch a live, but unfortunately you may have caught maybe close the to the end, end. Oh. but, uh, we got, we got a little bit, got a little spice back, for you. Right? You got a little spice for you. So yeah, if you, if you want to scroll back, you got a, you got a while back. And we broke the record 650. Yes. Yeah, record again. Thanks, this guys. is the most amount of people that have ever been in the stream. Ever been thank in you. Stream with so us. thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah. So. Um, on the house, the house will be in mine and my husband's name. Initially, I wasn't in favor with us buying the house, but my sister and husband and I did um, uh, work out that it would be cheaper than senior living and it would be a good investment for us. We looked at it and financially, that would be the best option for us. And for everyone who's just tuning in, the TLDR is basically uh, uh, OP and their husband have four kids, then their mother-in-law moved in because she like was uh, on rocky financial times then the other partners uh the like then what it's uh op then op's, OP's parents, parents house burned house. down and so they moved in and then uh op's mother-in-law and uh, started sending nudes and like lewd pictures to um, op's father op's father i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i have to i have to i have to conspiracy theory conspiracy theory mother-in-law burned down the house so that <gasps> way the father-in-law and the father would move in so she could start sending him nudes Whoa. that is a fucking conspiracy theory that's a, ever that is one. a conspiracy theory i had to do it and I Eva, had to do thanks it. for Thank the five you. bucks hello to you as well back so, to reality let's get to the last bit so we uh why are you allowing her around your children because family <laughs> it's not only because we are family, but the fact that she has literally been a third parent to my children. She has spent a lot of time taking care of them, cooking their meals, and sometimes even for me and my husband, she oh. regularly drops them off at school and picks them up. She helps with their homework and regularly helped us run the household. My children are close to her, and they are at the age where they can maintain their own relationships without my interference. Do you even like your parents at all? I love them, and my parents are aware of everything. They have literally spoken to my children, saying they don't have to pick sides and to go visit her. And that is where that story ends. wraps up. Mm -hmm. That's where that story wraps up. Fucking crazy. The mo like that mom flirting. It's a horny yeah. granny. That, but honestly, horny, horny, horny granny. granny, horny granny. But like, honestly gives me hope for one day being that horny when I'm that old, Don't but horny, horny with someone I'm lo in love with <laughs> horny for, for my wife. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. That's beautiful. I um, love that you have that takeaway. Yeah, yeah that's that's my uh, takeaway. That's the takeaway, ladies and gentlemen. Like, old people don't have sex, though. What? I, I, that's not true. Bro. Is that a blank no, statement no, that you're making? Mad STDs, my dude. No. Nope. Yeah, dude. They have don't you, do it. They bro. Forgot. They dude, forgot. Have, you, have you have you heard about like the the retirement communities? Literally have the most sex out of any population. A lot of rock, dude. Yeah, dude. False. And they're raw dogging it because they're like, of course, you know, bro. Yeah, of course. Might as well. You're, you're at death's face. door, dude. Angel Flower Sophia has to hear that. <laughs> Videograph of old people have so much sex. Yeah, no yeah, way. Exactly. Je cool. Jelly Boss says Sam is correct. Ballroom Blitz Kid, Sophia's thousand yard stare. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sophia's stares have been killing on the stream. Yeah. Um, should we end? We're a little over a time, but a we want to give you a little extra the bonus. Um, should we do one more short call in Riley? Can I, I have a, yeah, one second. Pamela Rojas says Sam loves the elderly. Shauna Brooks yeah, says does. retirement yeah, don't communities you guys remember have that the story about STDs. Sam showing up to a lady's house to help her without his shirt on. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did God. do that. I did do that. Yeah. We got one. Uh, how would you guys like to hear about my crazy, my friend's crazy ex-boyfriend? Let's do it. Friends, crazy ex-boyfriend. Let's do it. Here we go. What All right. We got, and Colin? we are going to keep it. To, we're going to keep it short and sweet. That's right. All right. It's the last one, y'all. Last one. We love you, though. Ooh, so exciting. Right? It always gets my butterflies tingling when I hear the, the ring. Hello, hello. Hello. Right. Going good. It's yeah. John, Sam, Sophia, and Riley from Hello. OKOP. Who are we talking to? Um, 
This is actually Cassandra. Is actually, it who? <laughs> Hello? Cassandra Perry. Oh, oh Cassandra Perry. Perry. Cassandra. We've been seeing on? you in the chat. So yep. what's your one sentence description of your story? Oh, hey, Peter. I'm on the phone. <laughs> you are on the phone. What's your one sentence descriptor? Hit me with it. So, um, one of my really good friends, um, well, she's not really a, well, a very good friend anymore. She, so her boy, ex boyfriend now's grandmother called me a few weeks ago and asked me to come pick her up. And I okay. had no idea why until I showed up and everybody was in this gigantic argument. Yeah. So I basically brought her over to my house and was explained to me by his grandmother that the two of them were on a no contact order. and Why? Oh. Oh, they got into a huge physical fight like three weeks before that oh and God. they he wouldn't leave her alone to a point where she thought that it would be okay for her to just keep going over anyway so they had to get like a restraining order basically uh no the police put the restraining order on between the two of them oh wow wow that's okay. how you know it's Canada, bad right? yeah so the police can like just make them not be allowed to be around right anymore. what happened next so, anyways, he, literally that the night afterwards, he kept calling and would not stop calling. And then she started calling him, trying to figure out why he was calling us. So then he showed up driving drunk, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, okay, I won't put up with a lot of things, but driving drunk, I won't deal with. Not so at I all. No. To ask him why he's like. First off, why he's at my house, and second, why he's driving drunk to begin yeah. with. Yeah. yeah. Oh my lord, there's there's a fine line. You can have like a half a glass of beer and still yeah, but not yeah. absolutely yeah. drunk. Yes. Yeah, yeah, man, unacceptable. Man is at two strikes, yeah. but those strikes are pretty big, so I might count yeah. them as three strikes each. Yeah. Yeah. So when I go outside and he starts, he starts literally yelling at me. Why aren't you letting her come out and talk to me? I said, well, she could if she wanted to. She's in the bathroom right now type thing, right? Like, she's sitting there wondering why he's there, too. Like, just doesn't want to go out to talk to him and deal with it. While he starts screaming, she needs me. And I'm like, no, the way that you're acting right now, nobody needs you. Yeah. Wait, so who is he saying she need he, she needs me to? So it's so he was he in a relationship right? with, the, like, your, your friend who's the ex-girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. Well, she was my friend until I found out that all of this started happening because they were both on, well, what I'm going to call bad drugs. Really? Right. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah. So Ooh. like, did you, did you have to get between them? Yeah. And then I ended up having to like call her mother to come pick her up because it just yeah. turned my entire house and our whole neighborhood into just a whole pile of chaos. Oh my, oh my God. God. How did it all shake out? So like, yeah. like, 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 where, where are all the relationships today? Uh, right now, so she's still off with her mother. I am still currently in my home with my boyfriend, and he, they're both, they're split up. She's not having anything to do with him or his grandmother. Thank heaven. Good. 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 I have him and his grandmother blocked, but they keep trying to talk to me. It's so strange. Well, I am I am so glad that I feel like all of the people are uh are where they should, should be. be. Yes. And not talking away to from each other. you. Yeah. Away from you so you can have your peace. Also, everyone in the chat is asking, Are you Canadian? <laughs> yeah. Because I, was, I heard yeah. about a boot. And a house. A house. Yes, is that true? I Hey! Uh, there we go. Hey, there you go. Says, uh, Canadians are better. Videographer says, fantastically Canadian. Uh, well, thank you so much for calling in and telling your story. Uh, no problem. Thanks for us uh, for calling me. I can't believe you guys actually. Of course, of course. thanks for supporting the show. <laughs> no problem. Thank you so much. You guys have an awesome night. You thank too. You too. Have a great one. Thanks, Cassandra. You too. Thank you. All right. So I think that.
is the end of the stream. Up. Thank you for record breaking numbers of people coming Woo. to the stream. We appreciate you so much. And because this is not a Tuesday stream, this is go, going to go live to all of you. That's right. Uh, but if you want to see our private Tuesday stream, so basically they go public to everyone and then we private them right after they're done, uh, join our little sillies, our little community here on YouTube. And if you just jumped in, Start from the beginning. Go to the beginning at the of the thing because you'll this is gonna be public and you'll yeah. be able to see it. Um, but uh, if you love us, mm. make sure to subscribe. We, we love, love you, you and see you tomorrow. tomorrow!